Alô? Hello. All right, people are coming in, so. Hello. Um, I think I sent all the links and everything else. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Uh, You're missing uh, on that stream. I guess I'll post it here, the link. Is the music too loud? Can you hear I music? hear no music. Really? I don't want it to be too loud. I hear nothing. Well, you're not going to hear it in the Discord, but if you're in the YouTube, that's, <laughs> that's what I mean. Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, Civil War. And I have a lot of people with me who have massive experience about Civil War, right, guys? We all have experience the good and the bad of Civil War. All right, that works. Best part of the game by far. Okay, no music on YouTube. Okay, that's fine. We don't need music. That's fine. You can just listen. You can just hear the sound of my voice and the sound of the people in the Discord, right? That works. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, Civil War. Let's see. We can talk about the good and the bad because there's some pros and cons about Civil War. I'm just going to go straight to it because... I'm sure everybody is tired, especially Polo, since we just finished our Void, and everybody else did had Void as well. So, um, I'll just we'll just start with the what's the good thing about Civil War? All right. So there's let's see. The number one good thing is killing the farmers. <laughs> That's like the number one good thing about it, right, guys? You kill those fat farmers, the one with the big, uh, small cities, but it has a lot of troops. That's one one good thing about Civil War. Well, yeah, you kill those in the beginning immediately. And then you have a very, very clear distinction between who can follow orders and who just pretends to play the game casually. Kittens, right? You can kill slackers. People who are not active, you can kill them off as well. And you don't have to purge before Void. Yeah, because everything... Because everything is dead. You don't have to purge. Fantastic. It makes... Le uh, it's less work before Void starts. Hey, check in. Welcome. Can you guys hear me well? I'm not sure if my mic is... I don't know if my mic is working good. There. We hear you good. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Hey, chicken. Meow. Yeah. Ow. All right, so he's cat number two. We got no, the number one cat on um, right there, kitten. Uh, let's see. So one pro, killing the farmer. Second pro, um, you don't have to purge as much. And third, you're killing off the inactives, the slackers, or those who uh, they're not playing the game or following the rules. But what starts a civil war? Because for everybody, everybody experienced differently. Like for some people, oh, because I uh, mistranslation in war chat. I say bad translation. <laughs> yes, I think that's like the number one thing that starts civil war. Bad translation. Like let's say the number one alliance writes something and it got badly translated in the war chat and those people in said language got offended and they're like oh okay let's go let's go at it and they hit your guy over that and bam you started a civil war when you're not even intended to do that <laughs> gotta love the translation bot in the game it's so bad i feel like camel really it's like that's that's their plan just mistranslate the words so you can so can you can start a civil war yeah, someone is yeah, always offended. It's nice. If you're camel, it must be really nice. I mean, yeah, because Civil War can be expensive, which can be a con, a disadvantage, because if you're a nation who is very competitive, I'll say example 52, which is a very competitive nation, um, the, it's expensive to keep up 
<laughs> being shield, having a bubble, and trying to be competitive in other events like Void or Frenzy or DoD. When you're already using your goal, your speeds, and bubble to zero somebody during Purger or the Civil War. So it can be expensive. That's like the negative effect of it, of having a Civil War. Yeah, uh, of course, point leakers. Yes, and an <laughs> another thing, the negative, you can create a, a, an alliance that will leak points. If this alliance hates you so much, they will, uh, um, what's the word? Sabotage the void or the frenzy for you. Or GC. For, for example, Ritachi's going to stand in the middle of the center on frenzies and open bubble. <laughs> That's very mean of you. It rebel, is. rebel, rebel. What a rebel. Oh, I think it drives home the point. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're going to find you, Ritachi. They already said that without me doing anything beyond what I've already said. So, oh, well, hello, Clay. Hello. All right. All right. So, we got three positive, two negatives. Mm, what's another? I mean, there's a, lot, there's a lot more negatives. It's, does add. the negative outweighs the positive? That is the question. Well, it depends. It depends on what the civil war is about. If it's, you know, people taking offense to something, mistranslations or miscommunication, realistically, you can solve it. Civil war shouldn't be really looked upon as, you know, something that you do for fun because it, it it's like a protest in real life. It goes out of control very, very quickly. So realistically, you should use it as a last resort. You've tried to explain something to whoever else is in your nation. And they don't see it the way that you do, or they don't want to act on the same page as you do, and you have no other alternative other than to kill them. <laughs> or you're just a psychopath and you like to do it for fun. I mean, like I said, there are different instances to how a civil war starts. Like, like I said in the beginning, miscommunication, bad translation, you have that one feral member that's like, we got to kill the farmers. And you're like, no, we got to be peaceful about it. And then he just goes off and does it himself. We got to address all of this. When you can say it, it's a civil war. Civil war, I can say it. If there are, if there is a fight between two equal uh, alliance in power. But if I'm cleaning farmers, why should call it as a civil war? No, 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 no. Um... Yeah. You're purging. That's what we call purging. You're cleaning your farmers. You will be purging. Yeah. So, but a civil so war, a civil let's, say, war. let's say a civil, a civil war is technically when everybody is against each other and you are at 24-hour war with each other. It's like if one of your members bubble drop and your enemy, which is the other alliance, they see it, they will zero that person. <laughs> And that's not purging because purging, if two alliances yes, agree, we do, yeah. So from <laughs> the beginning, we should decide what is what is the civil war if, first, because in the beginning you said cleaning the farmers, cleaning the farmers. They are not. This is not a civil war. Well, I that I said that's like a a, a positive of a civil war. For some people, they like cleaning farmers. So that's a positive for them, but a negative for those that are like, uh, well, you're just, you know, you're not giving me a chance. Yeah, this you're is just a cleaning this me. Is, this is a daily task. It's not a civil war. If I'm cleaning farmers, this is a daily task for me. Okay. When I can say a civil war, if there are two or four C41, they are not on the same page and they are in different alliance, then okay, I can call it as a civil war. But if, if if all the strong castles in one alliance and they are cleaning their nation, this is the civil war. Right, I, again, 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 as I said, if two alliances agree with purging each other's out and cleaning the farmers, fine. That's not a civil war. When everybody is in disagreement and are against each other, then yes, we can call that a civil war. When everybody hates each other. 
even for this, if I'm not mm -hmm. agree with other alliance, but their power. Yeah, yeah, sure. The, so I, you're I can, cleaning I can your I can primers. stay without. I can stay without. If I can stay without shield the whole day, and I can fight them, this is not even a civil war for me. Okay, that's your definition of it. Everybody has a different definition. And as I said, everybody has a different this perspective is, and experience. That's nah, why not, uh, all, everybody on this here is, the, is um, nah, can... This is the main definition. Why yeah, I should yeah, call yeah. when I'm fighting small castles, they are not following the rules of the nation. I will call it as a civil war. This is not a civil war. Uh, I, th I think you're getting a little confused by nuances of, yeah. of the conversation. Yeah. Let's, let's, mm -hmm. let's keep it going. Which is exactly how civil wars start. Oh, there we go. We've got an example. <laughs> yeah. Let, let, let's, let's have a civil war with El Professor. Fight, right now. fight, fight, fight. <laughs> civil wars mm -hmm. happen when there's too many farmers. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, speaking of which, one of the negatives that I think of civil war is anyone watch Dune, the movie Dune? You know, they're yeah. talking about harnessing the power of the desert. I call it harnessing the power of the farmer. So no matter how negative you might view farmers or people who play differently than you, that might result in a civil war. I always think there's ways to harness benefits from them um, that is better than just killing them outright. I know this is different than most people play and most nations do it, but I always like to get whatever benefit I can from every single city. Granted, there's always going to be times to kill people. There's always going to be times to go to war with other alliances, but I think those are last resort. At kill least them all. Start at the beginning. But are you going to, are you going to stay with shield or without shield? Um... Are you going to stay in shield all day or not? Yep. Then this is a civil war. But if you're not staying in shield, even your alliance uh, members, then this is not a civil war. No. I've been shielded for almost five years now, so. <laughs> okay, so, okay, okay, okay. If you're, if everybody is shielded, if everybody has a shield, then yeah, there's, there's something going on. There's a civil war. But if nobody has a shield, during peacetime, during there's no events, nothing is happening, and there's no shields. Let's say example two six nine. We have no shields. We're all peaceful. There is no civil war, but we do purge each other. So what oh, I my, what I said before does not have to do anything to do with purger. I'm just giving so, you examples and pros so and cons. Kind of what we're doing, is, kind of what we're doing on 372 right now. We carried our civil war over for 349. But 372 has the north side of the map, and they're off limits. We'll let them sort their own shit out. We're going to continue killing all the people we've been with for the last four years. And how's that going for you? Going good. Four years? I like it. Split the map north and south, kill everything <laughs> on the south side. <laughs> that is very Texan of you. That's Thank his you. name. That. His name is Texan. <laughs> Texas death, actually. Sorry. Let me fix this real quick. Um, Texan, quick question: What happens if one of your your the guys that you've been killing joins one of the three seventy two alliance? We gave them a pass. We told everybody down south if they moved north and started over, we let them go. Oh, okay, that's 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 very um diplomatic of you. Yeah, that's not bad. The, pro the problem with 349 was not all of the players. It was the leadership and a lot of the alliances. They're all morons. So <laughs> we're hoping once they got away from that leadership and had better leadership, maybe they could be salvaged. It's highly unlikely, but possible. <laughs> yeah. As long as they can be controlled by a, by a good leadership, yes, I agree. Yes, so it takes a good leadership to... To create a good world, to um, yeah. because a bad leadership can also create a civil war. Like I said, miscommunication, people not agreeing with each other, disagreements, or you know your typical "I don't like you, let me kill your alliance." <laughs> well, it, it's not so much that with us; it's just they're morons. I mean, I mean, define it. Are they bleeding points? Are they like, oh my god, look at my SOS? <laughs> I mean, they're more concerned with prestige and elite wars and shit like that. Than, but yes, they're bleeding points horribly. 
we just had a four and a half billion swing and 372 got monkey stomped. How was your void? Did you win? No, 372 got monkey stomped at all the weekend. Uh, by the people in the south? Yeah. Ooh. And, and some in the north, but they're not our words. <laughs> F and D to sort them out. I see. I see. Okay. Well, I guess you got to purge harder. It, it's never ending. Once you allow farmers to grow for so long, mm -hmm. right Right now we have what? One, two, three, six, seven different worlds. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. For real. Um, oh, God, what was it? Now, now, because, now, because we agree now, what is the civil war? Now, the question is how the civil war will start? How will it stop when they all die? <laughs> I mean, there's depends, depends who you are working with. If you can be diplomatic about it and talk about it and be like, you have to come to an agreement between both sides. And if the agreement goes through, agreement. then yeah, it will stop. Okay. Agreement like, let's talk. Okay. Agreement about what? If everybody knows the game. Listen, everybody, d depending the group you're working with, people are different. Sometimes, no, there's some, no saving people. Some, listen, here, some people are like, "Hey, just give me, give me back my my land, give me some of these, um, some of the land of the buffs. I'll take some of that." Or okay, yeah, show me we'll, your, we'll, okay. we'll split no, the no, we'll no, split no, the, no, the the players no, or whatever. No, no. It's just show, show me show me your show me show me your points in void on other events. Show me what you are doing for the nation. I can give you. Yes, that's another point. You can ha you can but, see who is the player asking, or not. Asking asking to share anything or or demanding for anything first. Are you spending for the game? Are you showing any efforts for the game? Are you making any points for the nation? If not, then fuck off and just play your game. Right, fuck off and die. Yeah, leave. This is like more unhinged version of Jay. <laughs> yeah, but he's not letting me talk. Okay, anyways. This is what I'm, this is why the civil war will start. You will have a group of people. They just they just want only to they want only enjoy the game. They just only they play together. This is okay. The, 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 we are facing this issue this people in most of the nations. But if someone will come and say I want I want the president buff. Okay, you are C30. Why you need the president buff? I mean, yeah. That's logical. Why would a C30 want the president buff? Yeah, I will share the gift with your members, no problem. But why you need the president buff? Yeah. If you are well, not if you like, are not spending money in this game, for what you need the president buff? Listen, leadership gotta be what? smart about it, of course. They gotta look, see if, what they're what they're what they're putting at the table. Look, if, at this point, if a player has more battle power than he has kills, then you need to kill him. Just be done with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. no, dude, you're funny. And by the way, the, the, the if you check in your uh, like national chat, or who's speaking a lot, he's not he's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. What? Who's asking a lot for many things? He's not doing anything. Well, we call those loud. Find mouse. him if you are looking about him in the events. You will not find him. He will not. You will not. You will not find him in top hundred even. I take offense to that because I talk a lot of shit and they chat as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, where were we? Let me check the comment. UFA, Asian dominant most... servers are difficult to work with. They play emotionally. Dif not everybody, but kind of. Yeah, kind of agree there. Captain, I'm about to start one after being promised nudes and not getting that. <laughs> Captain. Um, Arrow, a civil war starts when simpletons claiming to clean farmers. True, and then those same simpletons are friends with said farmers. It's like, I can't kill my friend. But I will say one thing about farmers. A lot of times the whales, are, they're guilty of letting farmers stay around too much just because they got a Because that's their problem. plan. They can't kill their plan. 
And that's why you killed those friends of his. You kill them. No, you as an ace in the team. If the whale pisses you off, you kill his friends. Yeah. Very easy. Very easy. Yeah. I mean, the, the whale can keep on living, but all his friends can die. He can play the game by himself. And you make sure to blame him specifically for his friends dying. And then when he quits and leaves his base to a farmer and stuff, eventually you kill the base. <laughs> Or somebody kills that base in Void, and the person let me, says, oh, let me say this. Most of the problems of old nations, most of your problem in, you, in your old nations, you allow these players to grow and to play in your nation. I mean, like, I feel like all the old nations, well, most of them have already purged majority of their fat players. Mo I mean, some of them. Have you seen 30 lately? <laughs> Nation 30 only gets purged during Void. Yeah, by other people. That's why they keep losing everything. Right, Rags? Quote me on that, Rags. <laughs> I know you're in there. But I don't know. How newer worlds um, handle the Civil War? How do you guys handle it? The newer worlds? They, they quit from the beginning. The from the beginning. Like, I, I, let me speak about 900 nations. Nine, Go all for 900 it, man. And above. Go for it. Tell, us the, know, tell your story. Yeah, I know. I know most of them. We are cleaning our nation day by day. If I feel someone who will be selfish or who is talking too much and not doing for anything for the nation, we are cleaning him from the beginning. Wow, that so, and even now we apply mm -hmm. even we apply rules. I, I believe this is applied in 905, 918, 922, 923, uh, 909, 904. We are applying the same rules because we are in the same Discord channel. Like now, we are not we are zero mm -hmm. any castles below C30. All right, let me go to your nation real quick. 918. 918. Let's see. The nine hundreds haven't had mergers, right? Nine oh five only. Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of you guys still. Uh, twenty three, twenty four. The depends whether you're Chinese or not. We won our GC, and uh, we were seconds in uh, GC uh, season two. We won all the void frenzy. Okay, let's see. El Profesor! Top Commander, look at you! Alright, Alliance ranking. So let's see. Obviously, it's your Alliance, the top one. Okay. And I'm going to merge them after two weeks to, to, to Alliance. No more Academy now. We don't have any Academy. <laughs> academies are the worst. Yeah. What's the point of Yeah, what's the point of an academy? I mean, I get the yeah. point. The point one of the points is if you have too many actives, too many players, or too many casual players, send them to the academy. But if you if you just started purging your nation or killing it at all, you you're gonna start killing those anyway. So there's no reason to start an academy. Academies are pretty much useless after about six to nine months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let them grow, Nikki. They're going to grow up and be amazing players someday. They They'll have plenty of time to grow. <laughs> if they didn't grow in nine months, they would never grow. No, they're exactly. going to grow up and be amazing. Just you wait. Five years? <laughs> oh, as long as it takes. After five years, they just shoot up. All right, hold on. I got a question. Hold on. Chat's popping. Johnny Ringo, question. How do you do SOS, SOS officially to kill farmers and give void time? <laughs> T Force. <laughs> joking, joking. Don't do that. Keep, keep your hospital full before you SOS. Right. Just have the hospital full. Fill, fill that bad boy up and go for it. <laughs> and Nikki, when we apply the rules of, of we are going to destroy below C30, within two weeks, every uh, top 100 players, they are C30. I mean, you yeah, you gotta put some rules to push them, you know? Gotta put that fear in them, I guess. That's the word I'm looking for. Rules don't work, just kill them. <laughs> I mean, if you, want, if you don't want to be diplomatic about it, 
you can and you don't care people's feelings you will, will just straight up kill them all right we, we don't, we don't, we don't. See, see anything about me okay all the don't tell me about diplomatic diplomatic in this game would not work I mean, it depends. You know, Everybody's it, different. It, 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 either you will, uh, either you will follow me, or I will zero you. I don't have time for drama. If Al Professor <laughs> is leading the diplomatics, then yes, it will never work. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why diplom diplom diplomacy never worked for us. I'm the diplomat. <laughs> Yeah, I can't be diplomatic with the guy who's having C41, with the guy he's spending money, his money for this game, with the guy that he's spending time and efforts and making points for the nation. That guy, I will respect him. I will talk to him. But a guy, he's not doing anything, and I'm wasting my time with him. Why? Yeah, we got C41 and 372. He's worthless as tits on a boar hog. I mean... <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Right, hold on. I, I'm, I'm sure you will not waste your time or hours for someone who will ask uh, uh, this land, this area, uh, th I need some buff, I need some that, and he's not doing anything. You know, after some, at some point, yeah, you, you will feel that way that, okay, I'm just, I don't want to waste time, I'm just going to zero you. Yeah, you do get to that point. That's why you were right in, sure. in the whole, yeah. oh, yeah, start early. Yeah. You're right yeah. about that. You were right about that. Yeah, did you start uh, early? Me, yeah. I will listen to you when. If you are scoring points, if you are following the rules, if you are fighting in most of the events, then I will respect you. But if I don't know you and suddenly you are coming and start talking that I need this, I need that, and we need to make vote, why I will waste my time for I all am, this? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm being, actually being, sure. a, being aggressive, I, let me let me just say it. Let me just talk. Being aggressive, it is it's a way. Okay, that that's that, that's a way to handle your nation. But everybody else, can, there's different other ways to handle a nation. Like I said in the beginning, it all depends who you are working with. Depends the players you are playing with. Because if people, if everybody thinks alike, like yes, yeah, let's do the best for the nation. Let's all grow. Let's fight for boy. Let's let's do better in GC. Blah blah blah. And everybody agrees with each other. Have the same mentality. There's there's no reason to be aggressive with these players because you all have the same mindset. So that could, you can work out your nation well. Like which is not which is not possible. It's possible. Look at Polo Nation. Impossible. Look up uh, what? Not possible. <laughs> no. What? Uh, let her talk. Okay. Let her yeah. talk. <laughs> Look, if you can get grab all those players and have them all in one alliance, you have a good alliance. And if you can manage the nation, then it's, it can be possible. You will still need to purge regardless. No matter if the nation is, you want, the nation you, is good you, or not, you, you will still truth. purge. You, you, want the you want the truth. I built a strong alliance. You know how? Most of them, I zero them in the previous six months. I mean, I, what, what were your rules? Do you think do you think is it's easy to gather Korean and Japanese? No, it's not. And, uh, That's those Asian are the player and American annual alliance. Do you think it, it will be easy? I won't say it won't be it's not easy, but it's not impossible. It can't be possible. It's impossible. With the Korean and Japanese, it's impossible and Asian player because they love to play in separate alliance. I mean the, mm. <laughs> in the in the beginning it can be like that. In the beginning, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's not impossible. It's very possible. It's, it's possible. actually pretty easy. All it's right, just not up. worth the time. <laughs> it's yeah. It all depends if you have the patience. Which the patience yeah. what? Tell... After two years, after I lose, <laughs> after I lose all the events. I mean, look at I, Polo I, Nation. I, look at two six nine, for example. I think most of the successful nations and most of the successful for me. Top alliances to convince this woman to meet with me. <laughs> well, I, I, it's an example, my guy. I don't have nobody on here that is close to your nation. Yes, example. Yeah, example for what? For a nation that spent more than three years? <laughs> you hey, want me like to I... wait for three years? It, to does, it, it, them. it doesn't to take three years. Alliance. No, <laughs> it doesn't take three years. It's just an example that you can start today or, you know, not follow it, but, you for know, what? it's give you an idea. Hey, if your nation's Idea, doing good, okay. if your nation is doing good, good for you. Why are you mad? What's going on? 
Are you? No, I'm not mad. I'm talking about. <laughs> you're, you're don't tell me that. Me. <laughs> don't tell me like everything is working with the diplomatic, and they have to be patient, and they have to wait for two years. I'm not going to spend my money to wait for two years to merge and be strong I'm alliance. Saying. Then I will start winning. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm just giving examples. Because like I said, everybody has different experience. Everybody has different perspective. Everybody's yeah, different. You can have your perspective. <laughs> you can have your own, you have your ways. You, you do it how you want to do it. But if somebody doesn't know how to do it, then they can get, you know, they just listen and get an idea from it or, okay, maybe that will work for me or not. I'm not saying, and, yeah, do this, do that. It will totally work. No. Everybody's different. Every, every nation is different. Every problem that happens or every civil, civil war, difficulties, whatever, is different. It's not, not everybody's the same. That's uh, pretty much always the same. Pretty much I mean, any word. Yes, the and same. everybody kills each other, blah, blah, blah. It's the same. But I'm saying, like, how it starts and what happened and how it ends, it can be a little bit different for everybody. Let me see. Hold on. I got some questions. Polo, you can continue. You were going to say something. Yeah, I was hey, going to say. Can, can that, I jump uh, in really even quick? If, even if you think you know something, you might not know it. So it's always good just to listen. Um, who said who wanted to jump in? Greetings, everyone. Hello, it's Lumberg. Lumberg. Hey, hi. Um, Lumberg. Hi. I'm not going to be here for too long. Um, my, my kids are asleep. Don't wake them up. So I will, uh, <laughs> I just, just then, wanted to come he, in. You got, you got a mute professor. He's a little bit loud. Are they, are they tired from void, your your kids? <laughs> no, I, I, I made them run around in bikes, and then it worked out. They're, they, they're, they passed out, so. I didn't do anything this void. I took a family day. Uh, Who were your we guests in void? Too. Oh, oh. Mission two. Did you meet the great kitten and his um, cat they, baby? They did. And I literally got online and said, don't touch the kitten. It's always a trap. And they were like, let's hit it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go hit the kitten. And they hit the kitten and it went very badly. <laughs> Jen literally said, avoid anything kitten, but we don't, we don't follow instructions well. <laughs> <laughs> the they cat is independent. Anyways, so He's an independent it. feline. Nobody, he follows nobody but himself. But that's great. So, yeah, just, uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to say one thing to professor, right? Like, like not you, just because you had a bad experience, let's say in your nation with like, I, I don't know, uh, people from one country doesn't mean all nations are the same, right? Like no, everybody's no, no, different. No, 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 no. It's, not, it's not about the bad experience. This is the way how it's to be done. Otherwise you have to wait for more than one year to convince others to merge and also to push them to upgrade their castles. Otherwise you will end up with the nation like giving points, free points in in all vo in all void. Like what I'm hearing him, him all the problems from all the nations. Let him talk. I'm about to mute you. Let him talk. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. Yeah, because you started. No, no, because you started with saying bad experience. It's not about bad experience. I'm talking about this is how yeah. the way has to be done. Uh, how can you say it's the way to be done when you played so much, he, so, he, like, he, so he little know what time compared to everyone else? Um, as, as Polo said, sometimes you don't know what you don't know, and it's good to listen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will stand by that, and what Chicken is saying, 100. percent no, no, I, I, think, will I, I will listen. I will listen. Okay, okay, no problem. Just let me clear my idea. Now, if you are asking my nation, did they lose anything? I will t ask all the nations above 900. They know very well what is the nine, 918. Because of our roles, because of our strategy, because of the way that I'm doing in my nation. Even if you, uh, the, in the VIB support, many nations now, they want to merge with our nation 918 because we already clean our farmers. We don't have castles below C28. Th this is how the way has to be done. And if now you're countering you the problem way, outside of the war. Another way, no problem, no problem. But show me what is the result for your nation. Oh, so how you're the only C41. I don't think he had a merger. He's the only C41 in... There's only a uh, couple C36. There's only two C36. Oh, you're very developed. Yes. 
Yeah, we're going to merge in two months because they start uh, because last nation they merge in nine oh five. So we're going to merge next next time. Mm. Can we please get back to Lomberg and what he okay. wanted to say? So, Just Professor, um, I appreciate you coming to the yes. stream. I just hope you can just listen to us for a little bit. If you do not want to, uh, that's okay. I do appreciate your input. Thank you for being here. Um, I will I will mute you as everybody wants you to be. So, listen. If you want anything to sell, you can just comment. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, he's muted. All the fucking you, yeah. Sorry guys about that, but I, I appreciate everybody everybody else's input and I give everybody the best of a doubt to say their side of the story or their side of what they think. So I, I welcome it. But please I do just let the other person talk. I don't like the whole let me talk over you and it's not get anywhere. That's not the point of my stream. You can go that like I said, that, that's not at the point of my stream. My stream is to ed to give information to help everybody else and to give out experiences and for people to listen and you know get an idea or be like hey that's like me or oh that's that can we can do that stuff you know but it, i do i'd rather just don't let me you know let me talk <laughs> so and let the other people talk okay again professor i'm sorry but again thank you you do your your nation looks good um, so Lomberg, you can continue. Thanks, Nikki. Yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, um, it's important to, you know, take on from the experience of others, right? So uh, I've never been in a civil war until recently. And then when we started the civil war, you know, I asked all of the, all of my friends on the Discord community, and they gave me really good advice. Like, I, I knew nothing about civil war and it's it's a different animal, right? Like there's there's different techniques that you can do and it's it, it can get fun for for a little bit for sure. And there's there's stuff that you don't know if you don't have a civil war. And people gave me some great pointers. Uh and you know, all civil wars end up looking alike, but there is a time frame that it, it's it's pretty neat. There's some different strategies to doing it. Like and and I, I learned a lot from other people. So uh, you, you know, it's it's definitely worth kind of listening to kind of other experience. That doesn't mean that everything will apply in your nation, right? And everything won't apply in your alliance. But um, you know, um, I'll I'll turn it back over to you, Nikki. But I just wanted to say, like, I think I asked you questions. Um, you know, I asked many other people, uh, you know, questions about what to do with with civil war, and it actually helped out. So I appreciate the advice and the and the sharing of stories and strategies. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's the point of the stream: sharing experiences, giving out advice. Because I, I, now everybody's like I said again for the fifth time, everybody experience is different. Even though maybe the outcome is the same, but it, it's, it's it's a little different for everybody. It's a little different because like I never expected two eighty five to be in a civil war. I never expected that, but hey, they are in a civil war. But they're still, you know, they're still winning their events. You, you, you win Void, right? You're, you haven't had a Void loss in a while. Yeah, yeah, it, it hasn't changed our Void performance. Right, and it, it doesn't. And but the only, the only thing is that you have to stay shield, or you, or the alliance that is fighting against you will zero your member. That's the only difference. Yeah, I've, I've been zeroed three times now. What, Bumberg? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lumberg is on fire every time it I just log on. It doesn't feel the no. same with protection. That's all I'll say. Oh, wait. I have kids in the car. All right, all right. Let me read the YouTube comments. Uh, let's see. It, uh, da, 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 da. A lot of it's a lot about professor. I'm sorry. So aggressive you guys are. Well, point. Some of us Perfect. can be aggressive. Lord Knight, can't wait to see your nation later. Da, da, da. All right. I'm thinking that's professor. From two two thirty four to two six nine, we have lost one void war in the entire of the game. Clearly diplomacy can work. Yes, Captain. That's why I, I gave the two six nine example. Uh da, 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 da. let's see. <laughs> da, 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 da. Lord Knight, does all the nation repeat the same behavior? What is the best way to promote on, on, unif, unif, what is the word? Unif, 
unify. Oh, unify growth. Please educate us. Okay. Well, yes, some behaviors can be the same. Like Professor mentioned before, Japanese and Korean players. I'm not saying all of them, but there is a tendency that these two alliances will, because they will, they will make their own alliance and be with their own kind, you know? They will go at it with each other. And I have seen it before. Like, what's the example? Who has, oh, 298, right? Or it's 293. Which one, which one has that civil war with the Koreans and the Japanese? Was it 298 or 293? Can't remember. <laughs> Anybody? Oh my God, did it, did it mute everybody? No, it didn't. I, I think it was 298, but I don't know too much about it. I think it is 298. Yeah. What, what I know that they've been for a really long time. And I learned that from Lumberg's videos. <laughs> so go check it out. Yeah, go check out Lumberg's videos. Um, what, my point is, yes, some behaviors can be the same depending on the players. How to unify it, like I said, a good leadership with good diplomacy can make it work. But sometimes it may not work. These players will not agree. So the take Texas example, they split it up from north to south, and south, which is Texas side, will keep on with the civil war, while 372 will try to push forward. But he did he did say if those people want to change and they want to move into the north, then that's fine, and that's very diplomatic of him. He doesn't hold a grudge. He's not holding a grudge against those players. Meaning, because there's there are people who are like, okay, yeah, take this player with you, and then they're like, oh no, he joined the top alliance. We gotta hit him because that's our guy that we that we dislike, and that's that's not being diplomatic, if that makes sense. So diplomacy can go a long way, but again, it's different for everybody. It all depends. It be a huge roadblock. The what? Ego. Yes. E the main ego, ego is all about. <laughs> yeah. The it, number of years you've had to play with some of these people. You just sometimes just don't like certain people. Yes. just And people will not let go of those grudges. And there's nothing you can do about it. You just got to work through it. You got to work around it. You either make the player quit or I don't know. Let him do his thing. Let him let him by himself. Or you can zero him, whichever or. Unless that player is in your in your alliance and he's a good player, but he just won't give up this grudge against a player in another alliance, then I don't know. What can you do about that? Diplomacy or, you know, you just, you gotta try to, you know, you just gotta try what you can. Now everything works out. Let's see. Can I make a brief point to add to the cons list of Civil War? Go for it. I mean, personally, I, I freaking love it. I really love it. Civil War is my favorite freaking thing in the game. And, you know, before I retired from the game, I played in 52, permanent Civil War, really fun. However, there's a very specific moment where whether you're in leadership or just an overall, you know, R1, R2 guy, not a lot of responsibilities, there's a critical mass that your alliance reaches, even if you're the top one, even if you can beat the crap out of everybody else, that it just becomes overwhelmed. What I mean by that is, depending on time zones, you have to wake up in the middle of the night to play Elite Wars, you're going to stay up for Void War, for Frenzy, for Global Conquest, all of these things and if you add civil war on top of it especially a prolonged civil war it's really going to interfere with your life and you'll you will have a massive exodus of members mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be a whale sometimes if it is it's it's a bad hit for your nation and for your alliance in particular but you have to be very mindful of not going too crazy compared to the rest of the members of your alliance if you have an, a lot of time on your hands if you have a lot of you know cash to burn for speeds teleports gold yield whatever it is that's fine but you also have to consider the fact that 
not everybody is like this. And not everybody's in your situation. Right. You have to have, like, a contact list, just in case somebody's bubble drops. You bubble buddies! You gotta create a bubble buddy list. Bubble buddies! Ugh. Well, these are things how it's to exhausting. survive it's a civil war. Because there's a lot of things you gotta do to survive. Well, one, the main thing is to having your bubble up, but then you gotta stack up on gold, yep. stack up on bubbles, have a second person with your login in case you can't log in and then your bubble drop, this person can log in for you. Yeah, it's... <laughs> but that, that's just the bare minimum. I know, it's, and then it you is. And you take into account the fact that there's and... going to be like 10 people online trying to protect you while they're scrambling to call you on the phone mm -hmm. to get you to Yeah. And you owe those people their the time, privilege of time mm -hmm. and their effort. And not everybody is going to be able to maintain it forever. You so know, you will decrease the longevity of your alliance by going crazy for like every event or having a really intense civil war that lasts for a very long time. Yeah, and it can affect the activity and your members. Because at some point after so long of a civil war that I had in my experience, at some point, after the bubble has been dropped for the seventh time, I got tired, and I'm like, just let them, just let them kill him, kill the guy off. I don't care. His bubble has been dropping so many times. He does. He clearly does not care about his troops. Let him die. Let him die. I'm not gonna stay here and wait for this guy to put his shield. If he dies, he dies. He die, if he dies, he dies. Exactly. It's not void. Okay, let him die. <laughs> and if he chooses to quit the next day. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Because he was already he was already being irresponsible with his bubble, wasting my time and not caring about our time trying to protect him, you know? It's, it gets tiring. And that's one of the that's another negative. That's another negative about civil war. People become reckless, people they become irresponsible, you know? Careless. Well in, in the I beginning. Would do it as a balance of both things. If you have too much civil war people get a little worn out but if you have not enough people get really complacent mm -hmm. and, and like you said about people getting zeroed it's not that big a deal for most people to get like there's no end button in the game like yeah. if you lose your troops and you're somewhat smart about your setup and you threw in a brave star or had you know your hospital empty you're gonna have two or three fleets ready to go even if you're zeroed yeah and your first like, aid don't forget the first aid skill you gotta have that up yeah yeah. Let's, I mean, let's, even if the worst case scenario, your bubble drops, you should have a couple of fleets ready to go. Like, there's no reason to just quit playing. I never understood these people that play first like four years, never take a hit, get hit once, and then quit. Oh my God. That's, that's like, it's like every I time. It. I don't get it either. Oh, um, yeah, I got hit. Remember when I got hit? <laughs> it was, Everybody gets hit. I, you know, Everybody. I always said, I have always said it every time. Nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. Everybody will get hit at some point in their time in this game. Yep. And I got hit. I did, me, I, got I did cry a little, but who cares? I still, I can still play. My city is still strong. I just need to get my troops back. Just, I just need one fleet and I'm good. And it wasn't void. Yep. I, and it, so I didn't bleed points to the other nation. I don't, I, it's fine. I didn't care much about it. I kind of, I did, I did cry a little, that's what, but, but that's a whole hey, different, you throw, you throw your phone, but still, you but still, a puppies, you know. <laughs> but I, I, I move forward. Troops. Yes. And now you I can, can hide my troops and I'll have to shield. Yeah. That's... You can go to the other world and yeah. not have fear. Exactly. But yeah, there's, but there's the no reason for me to quit. <laughs> right. That's the problem is after like six months of zeroing each other, there's really nobody else to zero, and it's just everybody living under a bubble. You catch a shield drop once in a great while. If there's no end in sight for Civil War, that's when it gets tough. Can I tell the story of the guy that came to EV1? And after <laughs> the leadership told... I'm not, I'm not naming names, and please do not name names. Do not name names, okay? I'm looking at you. The guy comes to EV1. We ha they have this interview process with the leadership, and they told him, listen... This nation is that 24-7 20, civil war. You have to have bubble. Doesn't matter how strong the city is. Doesn't matter how bad it is. 
these guys will speed attack you and zero you. And the guy was like, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, I'll keep my bubble up, that's okay. I think the the BP of this city was like 150, 180, 190. It, it, was fat. it had a lot of troops, but it, it, it's not it fat enough for not to be zeroed. And then... Yeah, I know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know where this is going. And then, <laughs> after six, let's say, after six days of him having no shield, because we did Discord him, hey, put your shield, put your shield. He wouldn't do it. He, so he did not put it. The Alliance SS1, as everybody knows, is the Alliance that is in Civil War with EV1. They had six days to prep Six full days to prep, get their numbers up. Because usually we, if they attack, they have about 15, 20. Obviously, this guy thought, okay, they won't have enough. They won't have that yeah. many players to hit me. I'm fat enough. Okay, Plus day number seven. Day number seven. Long. Day number seven comes yeah. in. He gets hit with 65 players. He gave them enough time to prepare to get their numbers up. And he gets to hit in zero. I think he get hit three times. So he got completely zeroed. Yeah, and the twice. audacity of this man to come into the alliance chat and say, and then I, thought, yelling, I thought we ending, were the right? strongest yeah. alliance. Yep. I didn't come here to be betrayed like this. The, the <laughs> fuck, dude? No, no. We told no, no. you. We even, told you. Even, it's civil even war. Better. Even better. I don't need that many troops anyways. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> sure, buddy. Sure, sure. They have a the account. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got a fire sale on that account. For real. But like, again, this is why you gotta be responsible with your shield if you're in a civil war. Because your teammates will want to protect you and protect your tube. You don't want to give positive, what's the word, encouragement to the enemy. If they zero one of your members, you're giving them motivation. You're giving them encouragement to continue, yep. to continue the civil war because, yay, we got one of them. Let's keep going. Because after, yeah. after you see, <laughs> after, because, you negotiate because you lost. Yeah. At, like in, like in EV1, they zeroed all of SS1. Well, uh, 90, 90, 95% of them, because some of them do keep their shields up. So they're still fat. But they seal majority of them. Obviously, that lowers their mood. Their mood. They're not, you know, they're not motivated enough to continue. But they will try to SOS somebody, but not motivated enough to speed attack. And you give them the fear: if I speed attack, I they might have this many people. Right. They can defend it. Yes. And then you lose a bunch. Right. You as the member, if you fail your shield and you get hit. You're giving them the motivation and the timing of, oh, they don't have that many players online at this hour. This is the hour for us to go. So, yes, please keep your shields up, please. <laughs> like Evergen, 219. 219. Yes. I see some people got hit, right? <laughs> everybody gets hit. Every yeah, everybody gets hit at some point. So, I haven't got hit yet, but I'm sure my day's coming. Yeah, so... If you're in civil war, please keep your shields up. Like some people would drop their shield during the time that the other alliance is like the least active, and then they put it up at the time that it's the most active. That that's the best way to do it. If you don't want to use a lot of gold or a lot of your shield time, if you don't have that many one day or three day shields, that you can do that. Just know. Yeah, the, get with which, your friends, and mm -hmm. and if they have embassy room, you put your put some troops in them, and like I said, you put your brave star in. You can you can use rock bell. There's a million different ways you can be smart about shielding, so that you're not just sitting there blowing gold the whole time. Mm -hmm. But I don't like keeping it a single point of failure. I always tell people that mm -hmm. don't like don't let camel be the one thing standing behind you and between you and losing like three million troops. If there's one misclick, they're not going to help you. Mm -hmm. So cover your own ass. And they will not, they're not giving you a troop back. They're not going to give it yeah, back. Yeah, they'll give you eight hour speeds, you know, three eight hour speeds or something. Like, no, 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 fuck that. Plan or, on getting hit. Or the whole, I was sure I put a three day shield. It was yeah, actually eight hours. <laughs> oh, it's a lie. I just saw Cholo's on here. He'll probably be the one to hit me one day. Mm. <laughs> I see you there, Cholo. Hello, David. <laughs> so, no, no. No, no, I'm not here. 
I see you were down there in the corner, sir. <laughs> I mean, overall, that's why the best um, mentality for leadership in terms of conducting a civil war for your own members is probably the enemy isn't who you should be afraid of. I'm who you should be afraid of. <laughs> if you make a mistake, I will fuck you up. Yeah, that's a, that was <laughs> that was the mentality of Mr. J and Sayes. And yes, it did give us us the members well, the fear of okay, I better not screw up because like they can. Dude, he was my double. <laughs> that like, was my yes. He was our role model. We miss Jay. Jay is the best. The, his emotional blackmail. Ah, I miss his emotional blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's not the same in Polo's basement. It's not the same. I need some emotional blackmailing. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I uh, run my alliance the entire opposite way. I don't run them in fear of me. I run them in hate of another alliance. Works better. <laughs> hey, that works. He's good cop, bad cop in his whole alliance. I love it. <laughs> he just lowered his entire nation. Uh, no, he's, in actually, my, he's in my nation. He's in 219. That's, that's John. <laughs> that's the John alliance leader. It's really nice to see the fact that despite you guys being in a civil war, you still don't intentionally feed points away. Like it hasn't gotten oh. that bad. You guys haven't let it got that bad. It's never been that bad. <laughs> I had the yeah, best. Ours is um, more like smaller oh. alliances. Um, John, his doesn't, even though they're the ones we fight with, but ours is more smaller alliances that do. And they What's... don't like it either, so they, they try to kill them too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's 219, a like... weird, weird world. We uh, <laughs> just strange. It's like we can only fight with each other, but like no nobody else can, you know, nobody else can fuck with this. Like, well, at least, at least, at least it's not as bad as SS One. <laughs> no, no, be be happy. It's not like SS One. Anyways, any other question about Civil War, guys? You got any questions? I'm not sure if I even touch much of it because we did get too in deep in the beginning with other things. I'm sorry about that. Um, but if you have a question and just, put, I don't know, just say it or write it in your YouTube. Um, how was Void War for you guys while I wait for these Civil War questions? I know 219 had 274. <laughs> how about, how was it? Soft. Soft. Mm. A C three C41s using T4s. Mm -hmm. that was terrible. I would like to never see them again. Uh, yeah, you, I, I was hoping I had them for Frenzy, and I was like, yeah, we should have them for Civil War. I want those. I mean, we should have it for Void. Uh, I can't talk no more. We should have them for Void. I wanted them for Void. Uh, I'm happy that I did not get them for Void. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. More than some worlds, they didn't just hide in shields and just leave T2 traps or T1 traps. Like, they left troops open, which was cool. Sometimes, um, here and there. <laughs> Havoc said he's from Nation 1047. I got hit three times by then president and spent over 200 on Void Potion. I'm the weakest I've ever been. Aww. But like we said, everybody gets hit. We will all get hit at some point. You just gotta pick yourself up and move on. Keep moving forward. Build up your three fifty four one. We won our void. Ooh, who do you had again? Okay. Who were you? Uh, I was one fifty seven. One fifty seven. Yes. Uh, professor wants to speak. Are you gonna talk about uh um void, professor? Because I'm I'm a boy talk about topic right now. <laughs> Um, let's see. My nation got hit hard by 1054. Ah, you were against 1054. Um, well, like I said, Havoc, you just got to pick yourself up, build your troops up, and, you know, be better. Better keeping your shield up. Because <laughs> that's the thing. You just got to be good at hiding 
Like if you if you can hide, there's no point of putting a shield on. Just hide your troops in the fort on somebody that you know they shield twenty four seven, and you're good to go. You know. But if you want to, if you want that safety, then yeah, put a shield on. For me, I'm always I've always put a three day shield because I don't trust I don't trust one days. I don't trust eight hours, two hours. Nah, I don't trust them. I gotta put my three days on. <laughs> It's a waste of gold in my in my part. It is a waste of gold, but I like to have that security that I am bubbled for three days. <laughs> um, you were sleeping, you know, my guy. I was sleeping too when I got hit. It was six in the morning. I got the the ringing on my phone that oh my god, Nikki, your shield drop. They just hit you. I'm like, what? and I woke up. I was it was six in the morning. <laughs> I, I can never forget when I got hit. It was an experience. Yes, it was an experience. What an experience. <laughs> uh, let's see. Question mark, question mark, check. <laughs> All right, Clay. As R5 of Tough Alliance, I created a medi mediation alliance and forced the leaders of the two warring alliance to join. One alliance wanted to force merger, which was rejected. Better mediation tactics. I mean, you get you you get together in a Discord or online instead of on an alliance. But hey, that's a that's a way to do things, I guess, because you're using the the game's translation. I do recommend Telegram. Telegram has good automatic translation if you have that language barrier between these people. Just tell them to download it, and then you can talk it out. In, uh, in Telegram instead of... Because I don't trust the game translation. The game translation is not that great. And as I mentioned before, some civil wars do happen because of the bad translation. So do avoid saying something that gets translated translated incorrectly. <laughs> Ever, I Jen, are we, are we translating bad? Is that our, is that our issue? Are you not communicating well? <laughs> Apparently not. I, I think it's just our uranium mine differences that we can't we can't resolve. Cholo, you know the main reason why you have issues. You got that one guy in there. <laughs> I won't say names, but you got that one guy in there. <laughs> and I think it's also, you know, 007, who I would say it's a translation issue, but I'm pretty sure it's drugs, so... <laughs> no, 007 is not translation. That's That's... That's just a weird. That's a weird deal. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. That's weird though. <laughs> Viber translation as good as Telegram. Ah, uh, I never used Viber. I know Telegram because a lot of people were saying, "Oh, this is good for um, uh, for automatic translation while texting each other." Better than Line because Line chat you need to bring a bot in, and it's kind of the same thing. So it's like, eh. For Viber's not bad. Not bad. Okay, so Viber's not bad. You you can use Viber if that's what you want. So either Viber or Telegram, or WeChat. I've got like seventeen of them because people are an <laughs> asshole. WeChat is mostly for the Chinese player. That's what they have. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you gotta you know gotta get different translation. Um, I mean different applications and chats. So whatever works for it, for whatever you're working with. Um, let's see. Havoc woke up again in another 100. Are you buying uh, void potions? I mean, if you I, don't spend money on recruiting your troops, you know, you'd rather put that money in your stats. You can slowly grow yourself back up, you know, use your money wisely and just grow your stats and slowly grow your troops while there's like recruitment buff or using Lorraine and all that good stuff. Hiding troops more. So you want me to explain how to hide your troops? Okay, let's go. All right. I'll use myself as an example. I have 39 mil BP. Why? Because um, that one time I, I went in an attack and I could not retreat and I lost a lot of troops. It's okay. <laughs> I still got two good fleets. Um, and that's all I care about. Uh, okay, so let's say I'm in a different nation. We were against 320. So let's say this is me porting into 320. And what I do, the first thing I do, 
and I learned this recently. <laughs> go to quest. Don't do your dailies. Just go to quest. Click on quest. Go. You will automatically find a ruin just as fast instead of just scrolling up to the map and trying to find a ruin. Just click on quest and you'll find a ruin very quickly. So this is like a, a fast way for you to hide if you if there's a target and you need to hide quickly. So what I do, I do 30 minutes rally and then I'll start hiding my troops. You can hide two fleets with 30 minute rallies and then your other fleet, if you're still too fat, you can use the ore mine. And the good thing about the ore mine, it does not use your fleet. So that's like a six um, fleet, you can, um, a six fleet slot, I guess you can say. And you still have your, let's say you're hiding four fleets, use this one, that's number five, you will still have your fifth slot because this turns to a six. And then just have your one good fleet ready for the attack. So you're bubbled, you're, you send your, your main troops. What I do, I, I attack a zombie. So I find like a random zombie next to me. Let's say, let's do an example. I find like a random zombie, right? I already have my fleet set up. My fleet, this fleet here is already set up with buff when I'm expanded. So you do your double expansion first or whatever you're doing, whatever your buff. I expand, I click my Q, I send. All right, it's sent. Now I go click on my daily, click on here, find the ruins hide and there this is me hiding now i'm hiding i do my ruins 30 minutes each because you know you need plenty of time right all right and then oh i still need to hide more okay go to the power or send to the power or you gotta wipe it up like that bam i'm already hiding and you just recall your main fleet back and there you got your main fleet ready and you're empty so now you can attack and if somebody hits you, doesn't matter. You're empty. You're not going to lose anything. And yeah, that's the quick tutorial of how to hide troops. <laughs> um, does anybody want to add to that? I'm just throwing it out there. If you choose to use speeds, you can use the power or fleets infinitely. You can send a fleet, recall it, speed another fleet, recall it, speed another fleet, recall it. So if you have a lot of troops that is a method it's expensive but it can be done mm -hmm. but it's, it's a bit tricky it's a bit tricky because it can get confusing and then you're speeding yeah. the wrong fleet all right um the missed madman yes um riley ruins that's why i'm saying i'm saying ruins i'm not saying rally a city no 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 never rally a city because you cannot shield always use the ruins because you can shield you can shield when you're using the ruins so do not rally on a city all right, use your, yeah, okay, I will get to that. Um, this is this is only when you go to the next to the other nation. Let's say you're in your own nation, right? There's an there's a city in your nation, so you're coming back to your nation. The next thing you will use is to find a ruin, and typically you will have this already saved your bookmarks. This is the good thing about using your bookmarks. So find, where's the ruins? Find the ruins you saved that is the farthest away and use your doomsday for that. And bear, all your fleets are out, but you still have your main fleet. Obviously you gotta, you know, get my main fleet back. Like that, okay, there. So now I'm empty and I have my main fleet ready. So this is, you can use your ruins. So that's why don't use your ruins when voice starts. Use them to hide your troops in your own nation when doing attacks. When flying to the other nation, save your ruins and use that to hide your troops and you and save your power ore. You can also use the quest to find a, a fast power ore. Just click on it, go, and bam, it will take you straight to one. That's like the fastest way you can do. Yes, the black ore is the good the, um, to use. Another one that people use if um, they already use their ruins because they're... They won't thinking, attack zombies in the Black Earth. Send them out. It'll take like 10, six minutes. You don't need it, it, you know, pick, send them as far as you can, but know the timing. Because if you're doing something that is like a minute away, 
you gotta you gotta know that the battle's gonna end that fast for you to shield and your fleet are coming back. So that's why people do thirty minutes, forty minutes, ten, nothing lesser than one. <laughs> Cause like you know you don't want to be risky about it. So yeah. So let me get my doomsday back. Cause I have something closer than that. So yeah. So that's how you hide troops in another nation and in your own nation. All right. So. What were we talking about again? <laughs> Let's see. You guys are pop. You're making this chat pop. Do you play Age of Origin on the computer? No. Oh no no no! I cannot. I'm only I'm only on the computer because when I'm streaming, I can show the game in the computer. I rather play on the phone. I can't. I cannot do the computer. It's uh. It's it's a bit slow for me. Because, I don't know, it's much faster on the phone. I don't like the computer version of it. I only do it for, you know, to show you guys if, oh, look at this alliance or look at this world, you know, or the way I'm showing you right now, how to hide your troops. All right. So, um, let's go back to Civil War. All right. What program runs run for the computer? Um, if you go to the website, it has both Windows and Mac, I think. Let me, let me Google real quick. Let me Google. I Google now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Age of Origins. Nikki, while you're Googling, can mm -hmm. I just say, hi hiding troops during Civil War is uh, a highly different matter. Go for it. Expand on that. Um, hiding, hiding troops during Civil War can get pretty complex because it's long term, right? Mm -hmm. Um it's not just you're hiding them for 24 hours or whatever. You might be hiding them for multiple days. Um, but when it comes to long-term civil war, you need to set up a system of cities that are shielded full-time, right? I've got an alliance that not everybody spends money on shields. Some don't. And you still have to be able to monitor where are the safe cities. So it's important to keep track of who is shielded this week, who's not shielded this week. And sometimes it changes. So during civil war, that becomes important during events, not so much, but when it becomes a long-term like week in, week out thing, like that becomes important for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also if you're pretty good at it, the minute you can like create a, a quote unquote trap, and pretend that oh my god my shield drop and then your enemy is like oh my god his shield drop we gotta attack him right now and you already you already hired your troops and they will go for it they will go and hit you but you're empty so you can like defend yourself i mean have a defense ready for people you know to cat to catch them and kill their troops that's another strategy you know um, yeah, sin, thank you for the sin fireworks does that, sin does that a lot it's kind of lame but they do it it is is nothing lame about it. You gotta when in civil war, you're gonna be you gotta be smart about it. They're just smart. That's why you gotta do the opposite. No, it's not. fight against legit, it. <laughs> legit, legit. Sin is the best at it. So like, you gotta be wary of open cities sometimes too, because you know it's bait, right? Mm. But as far as civil war goes, hiding troops becomes a little bit more complex that's all i'm saying like it, it just becomes a system right you just have to figure out who is shielded who is not because you can't just hide a, a one fleet in the fort and expect it to be safe because if you're looking at long-term civil war it becomes more extensive than that mm -hmm. you also have to be aware that uh if the person you're hiding in joins any event like Chaos Land, Global, Elite War, yep. your fleet will return to mm -hmm. you. Anything, any event that creates a yellow bubble, just to give a visual rep representation of it, it will kick your fleet out. So that's why a lot of times alliances will be like, hey guys, put a bubble on, don't hide in people because we're going to go into the event because your fleet gets and kicked don't out. Hide in people that like, to teleport around a lot oh yeah mm -hmm. 
just hide in somebody that's pretty chill that they don't like they just stay there they sh their shield they don't move just find that person don't don't pick somebody that you know it's always moving joins the events but then again you're you're supposed to join the event too so why are you hiding your fleet <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to talk about server two. Lexi, kitten, yeah. you're famous. Yeah. So you guys been uh not you're not in civil war now, but you guys been in civil war for such a long time since the very beginning, right? Or it never started like this. It's been on and oh. off throughout the mergers, after the mergers, all that good stuff. So can Yeah, almost every merger triggers a triggers a civil war of some kind, but my original world, yeah, we were at war or in a world purge for like two and a half years or something. Mm -hmm. You were from you said you were war war one hundred, right? Yeah, I world one hundred was my original. And then you got merged with world eighty six and two. 86 and then 86 and 122 and 2. Ah. That was our second merger. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So let's get in then with you guys for a while. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I don't for know. Long, I find your, find your Civil War story a bit interesting because it all happened because of one guy in the <laughs> top one alliance. And then... That one guy goes to the what? What was the bro alliance? Bro. But what was it? What mm -hmm. were they? They were like the third, fourth alliance in the nation. I would say fourth or fifth. Okay, so the story is one one guy who so uh, let's say he's a semi whale goes to has the has some issues with this the second alliance, which is the alliance Lexi and Kitten are in. And he joins the fourth alliance just to hit somebody, or did he hit the person while being in the top one alliance? How did how how what how was how did it go? How was the story goes? It's been a minute, but I, I know. want to say he encouraged a lot of people in Bro to attack an FYC city that was open while well, he was being in, in the first in the top one alliance, right? No, he was in the fourth alliance. Ah, okay, time. okay. At the time, he moved to bro. Yes. And he proceeded to stay bubbled and eventually leave them and go back to the top alliance. So this is an instance of somebody plotting to, like, plotting a civil war against two alliances, but not being in it, you know, type of way? Because technically speaking, he person. started that for you. Started that against you, you guys and Bro. Yeah. And then he goes off pretending that he did nothing. Pretty much. Yeah. So those those kinds of situations does happen. You do have those people that, uh, let's uh, what's it called like puppet must puppet masters <laughs> has people moving this. Oh God, I can't talk now. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm 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 not gonna lie. Controlling the had, strings. Yeah, that. We we had several people come in and out of the alliance because we didn't we were not um uh unioned with other alliances, which meant it was able to attack, right? So uh we became a portal for people who are mad at other alliances to attack other alliances because of unions. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, Puppet Master. We have someone like that. I, I think he failed. Yeah. So there's people who... And when the main mm -hmm. um, whale of the world decided to not be active, she gave him access to her city, so he tried to push his weight around. Yeah, the <laughs> the civil war in Nation <laughs> Two is so complex, but it's like I don't know how you guys managed this long. To be honest, 
if you if, if it were if it was 52 if you guys were had the mentality of 52 i would say most majority of your people will already be zeroed yes yes <laughs> and what we failed to do is right after merger we did not clean the nation mm. We attempted to be nice to everybody, and that was all the top alliances vote on that. So, yeah, it's yeah. You guys are very comfortable. Now it's just like the farmers; they they just they exist. You they just exist. They're just there now. When because... Jenny was running the world, it was fine because she was big enough to like bully everyone around. She was the biggest spender. She can control events. Once she stopped and then Ben took control, it was just a whole different show. Names. Too late, he already named names, but nobody knows him anyways. <laughs> T1 killer. T1 killer. When everybody thinks, oh my god, this guy killed so many troops. Look at his kills. He's like the number one. But no, no, guys. Those are just they're just T1s. It's just T1s. It's just T1s. Disappointing it is that. It, it it you can kill T1s and it ranks up your kills. <laughs> Ragnar says biggest conspiracy theory of AO is every realm have ha, yeah, every realm have at least one rich angry Asian who start all the bad blood in the realm. I guess we gotta put our tinfoil hats on that. <laughs> Who's attacking Dang. me? I'm not saying he he ain't wrong, but I have had the experience. Saying, I have had the experience. Uh, Remember sales, Rita? I'm just saying, saying. <laughs> oh, oh wait, Rita left. Yes. <laughs> See, I say we're not naming names. Y'all are the ones naming names here, not me. I said nothing. <laughs> He's in my alliance. Yeah. I can say it. You're the one who accepted him yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have. I say Kid, nothing. He got a lot now. <laughs> Every James laughing her ass off right now, I bet. All right. But we do it every day. <laughs> Gotta love Fang. I love his nation chat posts. They're funny. <laughs> I disagree, but it's it's all good. They're very you know, emotional. We talked about the psychological warfare. Oh my war. dear. Benier and I go way back. Yes, Black Widow. Can never forget Black Widow. I haven't heard that name in years. Ah, oh, God, it's been so long. Man, I've been playing this game for too long. <laughs> Do you remember Black Widow, Lexi? I think I mentioned you about Black Widow. It's been a minute. It's, it's been a minute. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute. One Punch Jenna spent on his account like... Yeah, Jenny did um her her formula in making core strong was to how do spend I say money. this? Spend money on your member city. So she was the one spending the money to develop her member cities, which hey, makes the alliance strong. She has the money for it. So core was it's a strong alliance. There's a lot of cities that are very strong in there. But mm -mm. I don't I don't recommend it for people because people can but take advantage of you. Spending, yeah, and when she stopped spending, nobody really picked up the reins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel bad for her, but hey, that was her method of how she controlled her alliance at the time. But hey, she finally broke free mm. and sold her city. We don't talk about that s word. <laughs> So uh, she broke free and she, no longer she's no longer with us. She's yeah. retired. She's Jen, retired. Jenny had uh, some, she had a city in my alliance for a while just as a contact city. And uh, yeah, her method didn't work. It did, but then it didn't. No, not after mergers. After mergers, yeah. you've got too many new people coming in with new thoughts yeah going back to a, a professor guy if you're still watching wait till merger <laughs> maybe things will change 
I mean, things always change during merger. Sometimes you'll get somebody that will not agree with your philosophy of how things are. And that's why when diplomacy comes in that, hey, let's talk it, let's talk it out. Let's talk with this. During merger, you have to talk to these people. You got to use your time in talking to everybody just to get the nation straight up and to know what you're going to do, like how you're going to manage the nation, who's going to be the top one alliance, where are the people moving, where are we putting the actives, what what are the rules for perjure, yada, yada, stuff like that. You, you mm-hmm. gotta, yeah. You can't expect, you can't expect coming into merger to still be the top one person and still be the one in charge, you know? You just can't unless expect that. Um, unless you're, I mean, uh, yes, unless you're Sayas, but even Sayas, he, he did talk to everybody and he did be like, hey, he are, this, this is our rules. And they listen to the other players like, hey, this is our rules. Because obviously, if the people have the same mindset at you, at uh, the same mindset as you, you, you will go, you know, it will work out. Things will work out. Because I know when I came, when I joined 52 during the time of their merger with 87 and uh, 68 and 87, they had a merger with 52. Mr. J Alliance, which is 68, and Mr. Unknown from 87, they both had the same mindset as 52. So it was a beautiful merge. It was beautiful. We, everybody had the same, the leadership had the same mindset. Everybody knows how to play. They were all void fighters. It was just beautiful. It all worked out. Until years later, it didn't. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Stuff happens and drama, but anyways, real life, real life, yeah. But during then, it was a beautiful merger. I would advise if you have your Civil War R fives talk to the merger alliances. Sholo, is this you saying, "Hey, Everton, come talk to me"? Slide into my DMs. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't care, Everton. We talk a lot, right? Like. We two different alliances, but we talk a lot. It's it's not like we don't talk. We're I talk to Sin quite a bit. Like that's not gonna stop. It's not just Evergen. I talk to all of them. I talk to Moreno. I talk to Bear. I talk to all of them. But I'm just saying, as a merge goes, as you get closer to merges, you have to communicate. Mm-hmm. Even a smaller, even a smaller alliance. You will get left behind if you don't communicate. Yep. Communication goes a long way. As they say, communication is key. You gotta communicate with the people that you're merging with. Even with alliances you don't like, you have to communicate. Uh, yeah, you kind of do. But if you know that it's like, wait, <laughs> oh God. Like, the example of SS1, we're going back to SS1, oh my god. Because, like, they have traumatized me. I've been traumatized by SS1. <laughs> there is no way you can communicate with them. It's just back and forth with those guys. It's like, it's, there's no, you can't communicate with them. It's just, there's, there's no point. There's no point. Their hatred for the, for the number one alliance, it's so deep. It, there's no point to communicate with them. And if you to know, be, if you know, that's fair, yeah. My alliance is not that, not that way. I'm not I saying. Mean, I'm not saying you. I know. I know. You're. That's why I said, two nineteen is lucky that John is not like SS one. That's. I did said that before in like way back streams. I, but what I'm I saying, is, if you know the alliance hates you so much, and you already tried once to communicate, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Just give up. <laughs> Oh, thank I, you, Mr. Sandman. Sandman, one tip, $10. I this agree, is my Nancy. second if, stream if, I joined. If, not play, if they're not playing So far, ball, it's been awesome. don't waste your time, you know? <laughs> Did the alert bark talk? Oh, I didn't. Thank you, Mr. Sandman. Let me see. This is my second stream, I think you said. I kind of try to read it, but it's in blue. I need to change the color of it. One second. Oh, activity. 
This is my second stream I joined. So far, it's been awesome. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm happy you're having, you're liking the stream and you're enjoying yourself. Thank you very much. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? I, I mean, we're still, we can still, we, there's a lot we can talk about Civil War, but I don't want to drag too much, you know? No? Hey, Rai, have you, have you been in Civil War? For like three, four years of it. Yes, brutal. Mm, tell me about it. How did it start? What happened? Uh, the first one, it was uh, this group of Chinese players that were just trying to take shit over, and they were spent a ton of money, but they were terrible. So we just told them to basically, you know, kick rocks, and we fought them, and they all left the realm pretty quickly after we beat them up. <laughs> and then the second Civil War was still back in 252. It was over some alliance buff buildings that we thought we deserved and it was a farm alliance was holding them just to be dicks mm. and we kind of you know we, we spent like six months being diplomatic about it like hey you guys score nothing in any of these events we can actually use them please let us we'll trade you some stuff and they just wouldn't work with us they wanted way too much for it uh so we like you know declared war and then you know uh, whatever a year later it's just you're burning flags that was brutal we actually lost that one just because we ran out of money to pay for flags <laughs> we gave up our territory and kept fighting until merger and then 249 we had a, a pretty solid uh civil war for the back half of that one until this last merger now we're in an alliance with a bunch of the people we were fighting so i, I always try to stay like have a goal for what you're going to do with civil war because like i said before with the troops thing like no there's no end button on this game mm -hmm. so like if, if somebody's mad they'll just keep playing and if everyone's mad at each other you're all just throwing camels oh, money man. Oh, yeah. right? like there's the nothing there's no solution plus do not underestimate the terror that like a well-motivated 38 plus like 38 39 c41 in there do not underestimate the havoc that one motivated player can cause on an mm -hmm. entire nation like, if I can ask the West once a day, I will have the entire nation in shields if, if I'm really that type of guy. So, like, even if you're not looking for a civil war, one mean player or one person that feels left out can absolutely thrash a nation. <laughs> no, you know, the worst type of player, the worst type of player is somebody that you zeroed. They say it's a farmer, a troll, yep. a troll yep. farmer. You zero them and you're like, okay, he's zero. He's going to quit. They never, no, they, they never, they never, they, they never, never quit. Quit. they never, they never that's, that's what I'm like, that's when I hear people that are like, just make them quit, I'm like, I don't know what type of farmers you guys are dealing with, but mine are weeds. Oh they're they're literally God. like weeds. They do not stop. You can pound them. I, we literally pound them till the refugees are gone. All the resources are gone. Flags are gone. And they just keep making accounts, keep farming. They'll just catch up and then they'll have a million troops within a month. But mm. you're not literally actively killing them. So... And that's fine. I mean, we understand that. It's not a big deal. That's why that's really the only reason that I've softened my stance a little bit on farmers. It's like if they're willing to follow some like moderate rules that help them from being a, a huge burden, then I leave them alone now. I used to just love pummeling farmers endlessly because <laughs> it's hilarious. But I, I like because they can become such a nuisance. Mm. I've learned like, hey, give them their little corner. It doesn't really bother anybody, but they have to agree to like to shield rules. They got to, uh, you know, T four rules, stuff mm -hmm. like that. If they're willing to do those things, I have no problem with them. Yeah, but like... I'm in one right now. I'm, I've got. I wouldn't even call it a civil war. We've just got guys that will not follow the rules, and I mean, we pound them. They're they've been pounded into dust, but they're not going anywhere. So it's fine. We'll just have stuff to burn for a while. But they can <laughs> attack. They can hurt other people. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, those are the words. All right, let's see. Uh, what about avoiding a civil war? Well, this is when you need to have to only the only way you can avoid a civil war if you have a good leadership. If you have an R five that has the power of diplomacy on him, and if he says something and people do listen, and he has the right say of words of what he's saying then you can, yeah, it's possible to avoid it. Please, because it's, it's a lot to do with diplomacy. Like, let's say, like, back to the translation issues. Somebody posted something, it got translated incorrectly, and it offended a player because, and they don't want to listen to you that, hey, this is a bad uh, bad translation. 
you you either diplomacy or be like okay whatever my guy be like that but if it escalates because it can't escalate you gotta de-escalate you gotta find a way to de-escalate it because obviously if it keeps escalating it will get to the point that yes you're gonna have a civil war on you because that guy is gonna hit the player that posted that nation chat post and then you're like okay so to avoid that from happening you gotta you know, you gotta face the problem head on. You gotta be like, you gotta talk to the person and be like, hey, it was a miscommunication, bad translation, he didn't mean to say that. And then your member, your member, or whoever posted it, you know, they gotta back it up, be like, yeah, I didn't mean that, that's bad translation. It's a lot to do with diplomacy. But if you're somebody who doesn't care, if you don't care, be like, whatever, my guy, be like that, no hard feelings. Okay, fine. Member gets hit. It escalates. What are you going to do? That's when you decide, okay, we're going to hit you back for hitting our member. And what does that create? A civil war. <laughs> so, again, diplomacy goes a long way. But if you don't care, and if, you know, you don't want to fix the problem, all right, let it escalate. Yes, you got to be good at dealing with egos. Thank you, Miguel. Yes, that's the word. Egos. The problem is the egos. It's hard to deal with people with big egos. It's so hard. They don't listen. They never, they, those are the type of people don't listen to you because they think they know better. And just because they spend money, they know better. And that's not how it works. That's not how it works in this game. Not how it works in the real world. But hey. You got to find somebody who's good at that. And that person's got to step up. Anyone want to add with that? I'm just going to throw this out there. I deal with this a lot, to be honest. I I have players in every time zone on the planet. And uh, it doesn't always go smoothly. I spend probably 85 to 90% of my time dealing with conflict between members because of this exact issue mm. it, miscommunication bad translation and i've got I, I mean i've got members who are currently in israel fighting in gaza i've got members who are in russia fighting in ukraine i've got members who are japanese chinese all sorts of members it becomes very very complicated because they don't always understand each other at the same time. Mm -hmm. And if uh, everybody isn't always on the same page, it can lead to some really, really weird conversations. And uh, it's all about communicating. I mean, you have to be clear with your members and I have to be honest, don't use a game translate Mm -hmm. because it's difficult and uh, use, use Google. If you can try to get the best meaning, but sometimes some languages just do not come across the way you think and uh, don't make a decision until you have everybody's, you know, side the, of on it. the same page. <laughs> also, it's just probably not the best idea to talk politics or religion in a mm-hmm. mobile game, regardless of any, any language. Like I tell my people all the time, like don't engage in that stuff. And another There's thing, and one. another thing guys, after so long, I'm the type of person who jokes a lot. I joke a lot. But apparently, in some languages, in some cultures and languages, my jokes do not get tran- do not get translated correctly, and they can be offensive. So of yes, I learned okay. who like who I can fun. joke with and who I cannot joke with. Because you gotta that because again the game translation it's so bad. Don't trust on that. Don't trust on it. It, it took me a long time to uh, understand the Japanese, to be honest. And uh, I think it was the the verb usage is just different from the language I speak. Pronoun, and, uh, yeah. And e- either verbs, pronouns, whatever it is. But, you know, it, it just takes a little practice. My, my advice is just don't make a decision on somebody until you actually understand what they're saying. Because sometimes... The first time they say something, you're like, what did they just say? And it's not what they meant at all. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes it just takes a minute. You know, you, you just got to get all the facts before you make a decision on anybody. Especially in newer nations. Like, you'll, you you got to find somebody that you know can speak. Like, I know 
one guy in my nation who speaks pretty good English, but he's Japanese. So he's the guy I go to if I'm like, hey, man, am I being made fun of? Or, like, what's the deal here? Because I know he understands my culture a little bit, and he understands their culture a little bit. It's hard, though, at the beginning stages of the game, because you don't really know who to trust or who knows, you know, what they're talking about. Yeah. I hope you're not hearing my my, my keyboard typing. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Tamar said, feel like we will have a civil war in 949. Number one alliance keeps coming in seventh for void. Say what? Second and third just came in third and fourth. We have lost all but two voids, and those were against Chinese closed nations. I think that's what she meant to write. Yep, but... Go to war. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a civil war. How can your top one alliance get seventh rank as an alliance in void? In void. Nine four nine. Nine four nine. Let's go to nine four nine. Let me look at this place real quick. Uh, whoops, my bad. Oop, clickety click, and then nine. One more. All right, back to this globe. <laughs> um, nine four. Okay, I see nine four five. Mm. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna be starting. I'm gonna be starting a new city in the nineteen worlds. I was about to say, so far the nine hundreds are just not really reviewing well for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, hey. nine four nine. Let's see. Okay. Okay, Evergen, I'll see you in two eighteen or in nine eighteen. <laughs> El Professor is gonna burn you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Nine four nine. Um your top one alliance name is One Nation. Okay. The one nation. It's not looking like one nation though. And then okay, second and third. Okay. Oh wait, I can show you guys this. Hold on. So you can see with me in the Discord. Oop. Can click on that. Okay. All right. You're seems like you're still developing. Kills. So this guy kills. Okay. Not a lot of losses. That tells me. Wait, thirty mil? C thirty three? Huh. Does this guy purge your nation a lot? Because those losses are like, hmm, questionable. Okay. The three th okay, so I'm guessing majority of people are C-33s. Okay, C-34s. Okay, no C-38s. All right. So this is your top C-34. Okay. I see. Okay. Are you guys, how, I feel like this nation is probably like, Five months old. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell these younger nations. I feel like they're like five to four months old, like, or maybe yeah, six. All the, I mean, all those alliances are pretty close to each other. That's the only thing that stands out yeah. to me. Like, there's no one big, you know. There's not. And even big. all the all the top players are spread out a little bit. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, these two guys with a or I can take I can say they're spenders. They're like mm -hmm. not in the one not the one alliance, the number one. Yeah, hip one. Uh, hip you're one, one year one. old? One year? Huh. You guys are a little bit delayed. You should have had a C38 by now. <laughs> My god. Some nations grow faster than others, I, I swear. Alright, where's where's the alliance rank? Power ranking? Yeah, you're pretty lean. But you're a C34. Yeah, they're power wise, I think at this point, looking at looking at this, at this point, you guys need to start merging alliances. Yeah. You gotta start merging alliances. I'll check 1093, I will. Alright, Tamar, what do you what is it? Oh, uh, one year, almost May, no farm rules. Too tough. Oh, they're very protective. Okay. I mean, judging your stats and judging the BP power, ah, you you should start focusing only on two alliances. 
maybe that can help with Void because obviously maybe top one alliance does not have the activity. Maybe they need to get some activity to score more, better. That's a lot of fat alliances too, considering yeah. <laughs> it's like seventh and eighth. There's, there, I guess they're, I'm sure they're getting legion points like crazy. Yeah, damn. A year old and you're only C34? I mean, some some places grow differently. You're yeah yeah yeah. Maybe you'll be you'll be C thirty eight probably in a few months. <laughs> All right, Miguel to check ten ninety three. Ten ninety three. Let's see what's what's up. What's popping in ten ninety three? Up. All right. Let's see. Ten ninety three. Okay. Then close BP. Not a lot of kills. No, okay. So I guess, um, are you guys not void fighters? C thirty seven. Okay, we got a C thirty seven here. Okay, Bobby, Bobby is C thirty seven, and then everybody else is thirty five, thirty four, thirty three. Oh my god, split. Majority are C thirty threes. Okay. Huh. Okay, bigger whale. Okay, so you got two big whales on two different alliances. Okay, I see that. I'm gonna guess you're probably, what, six months? A year old, too? Are you a year old? We didn't have our first void yet. Can I what you mean you didn't have your first void yet? What? Yeah, we didn't. Wait, are you from 1093? Yes. Oh, hi! I'm the, I'm the same person, I'm just... Oh. Uh, listening to you on discord and chatting on mm -hmm. thank you thank you so talk, talk, tell me about your nation so it's a very I see. very young nation we didn't mm -hmm. have our uh, first void yet we're like four months in you're like you're like this way more developed in... than 949 beginning of december wow that's when this nation was created and you don't have that much VP either. You're pretty no. lean. Hmm. Yeah, Tam Tamara. Yeah, you you guys need to start merging alliances. You gotta do it. All whales left. Uh, then, big more reason to merge your alliances. Get your alliance to merge. Create either a top one or just two, a top one and a top two. No more than that, because that's I guess that's the most you can get. But you gotta start merging your alliances. You can't have everybody separated if you want to be competitive. <laughs> You're welcome. I do hope for the best. Hopefully you do get your alliance merged and then you have a competitive top one and you can see the fun in Void. <laughs> so, Miguel, 1093, very developed. You're, okay, semi more developed. You got two whales. Or three? Do you have three whales? I see two. Uh, kind of. Kind of. There's Ambrose is also a bit of a whale. So, question. Why aren't you guys in the same alliance? Um, yeah, there's some beef between our R5 and uh, the Korean guy, ah. which is not a guy, it's a girl. Um, but mm, yeah, classic. Uh, okay, I mean, if yeah. you if your nation is managing well with just two top ones, hey, that's good. Yeah, we went. We're trying to avoid going into a a civil war per se, because, yeah, the members of our alliance are always uh, hitting on the Koreans, oh, and they no. don't take it well. <laughs> yeah, really that, can really, that well. can really start a civil war for you, my guy. Yeah. It's the classic... I'm not saying that all of them are the same, but same behavior of don't hit somebody of the same culture as me, because I will hit you yeah. back. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the thing is I'm now having problems in my own alliance uh, due to uh, the the beef between them and mm -hmm. the Koreans because we were like two weeks into the into the nation um, and I attacked someone and this Korean guy came after me uh, and I was like why did you attack me? And it was like, yeah, you were attacking this guy. And it was like, yeah, he was attacking our members first. Oh. So we had a chat. We had a chat and it was fine. Um, and since then, we had an agreement. So they don't attack me and I don't attack them. So now my own alliance is like pissed at me because they always go after the the bbb uh alliance mm -hmm. and i will not attack i will defend my own alliance if mm -hmm. they come after us but i will not attack them all right and I, now they are i do suggest i do suggest don't trust never trust nobody in this game what i'm saying is just because you don't hit them don't mean they're not gonna hit you and if they say they're not going to hit you, don't believe them. They will hit you at some point. Just keep your shield up. Don't, don't trust. Don't trust people. Because mm -mm. I, I yeah, have the I experience don't, don't. of I had a member that back in the day we had a civil war. And he's like, these guys are my friend. They're not going to hit me. So he will not wear a shield. But we had a civil war with that alliance that are his friends. He was in our group because we were trying to do the whole one top alliance, second alliance, but they still had, we still had beef with this one little alliance and he wouldn't hit them, but he will defend the members. He will never shield. At some point after a while, said friends end up attacking him and they zero him. Yeah. So what I'm saying, don't trust people, shield yourself, no, protect I'm your troops. Careful. During KEs, I always shield and stuff like that. But actually, not this last KE, because we didn't have Void uh, this weekend. We had KE, but uh, the one before, for some reason, yeah, my bubble dropped. Um, yeah, I got scouted, but I never got attacked by them, mm. including this guy. <laughs> this top guy. I mean, I'm, I'm it, sure... It wasn't like... It wasn't out of trust. Mm. It was something yeah, I was careless and yeah, I should have known better than drop my bubble. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they all end up being fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying me, they so will attack you. Like, hey, it's fine. I'm just saying at some point, at some point it's going to happen. Because that's why, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Never trust people. Never trust nobody. <laughs> you can only trust yourself. Yep. Um, but... <laughs> I can see, I can I see what you mean. <laughs> yes. The, the worst enemy you can have is yourself. <laughs> yep. But then again, then again, just keep your shield up. Even if they say they won't hit you, it doesn't mean that they won't. They might, they will. They might. At some point, they will. And people change over time. Yeah, people change over time. Things happen. Like you said, your alliance people are mad at you because you won't hit them. And then at some point they'll be like, "Are you a spy?" But that's why you don't hit them. Are you a spy? That's. I feel like that's gonna happen. No, too. they they know better, but hey, still. it doesn't uh, stop them. It doesn't stop the conspiracy. Um. Yeah. Okay. Per, per, perfect example. Right before void, maybe three hours before void, we had a city in sin had one point five million troops. It's an active city in sin. I saw it. I I actually told Sin about it <laughs> yeah. because it it's a city that plays right. I didn't want to zero it. We could have zeroed it, but we didn't. Aww. And uh, but same thing during Vo it was before Void, right? That city was before Void. Before Void, they got their shield on, and that city wasn't a problem. During Void, we had one of my cities that had the same amount of troops, maybe a little bit more, fell asleep, dropped a shield. I let Sin zero it to not lose points, right? So you have to look at the perspective. It's 
it's all about the perspective on what you guys are doing and what your whales are doing. Mm. Are your whales helping your, your world or are they not? I think it's more of culture barrier and language barrier. Like your, your, the cultures are clashing. Is that what's going on? Kind of. Miguel. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think it's a little bit of that. Um, and some comments on nation chat mm. as you guys were saying like it doesn't translate well western jokes do not translate mm -hmm. well into asian uh languages in general right. not just for koreans but thai uh vietnamese it doesn't translate well and it's not the question of the translator itself it's a cultural thing our My... jokes do not fit well with them my my advice is jokes are never going to work and it's all about a respect issue from the point of conversation they all uh the the way they form their sentence structure is different and uh and if you want to communicate effectively you have to learn that sentence structure yeah, that's why for uh, in my case, I don't have a problem with them. Uh, yeah, even for work, I worked uh, a lot with uh, Asians in general. So yeah, I'm always very respectful and stuff like that. So I don't have a an issue with them. Um, but yeah, some people do. And then again, when egos get involved, uh, yeah, it's complicated. It, it can be complicated, yes. So uh, this is when you have the, uh, somebody who's good at, at going against people with egos. Yeah. Or if somebody who understands, yes, there's a translation miscommunication issue going on. Let's calm down. But it seems like their members and your members do not like each other. So at this point, yeah, you're probably you're probably are gonna have maybe maybe not, but it could happen. Yeah, if, so far, if so they far don't, we yeah. manage to keep it. Yeah, one day you'll have that one enough. member who's gonna hit that one city, and they're like, "Okay, well, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna have a war." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a ah, what's the word? It's like a. A bomb ready? No. What's what's the a ticking, a ticking time bomb? Yeah, thank you. A ticking time bomb. <laughs> I'm thinking, based on experience from other from other nations, uh, young nations as well, but still, um, I think if we can manage to avoid getting into uh, a war with the second alliance uh, until we have the first void that shouldn't be uh, too far away now. Uh, the focus will be more on defeating the other, the other nation uh, yeah. than to fight among each other. Actually, uh, we had a proof of that because mm -hmm. we had a frenzy uh and for example our alliance was being attacked by the other nation and the guys from bbb came after the guys that were attacking us so we worked well together so it's a good point a no other hope. enemies internal yeah once you have external enemies it's a little easier to focus on those it's a really good point mm -hmm. yeah maybe we'll tone down once we start having more uh, like weekly or bi-weekly competitions with other nations, uh, the focus on internal conflict will subside a little and bit. And then maybe you'll have this big alliance merger. Yeah, we uh, merged the third one yeah. into AOW now. Um, so... Yeah, the guys from BBB obviously, obviously do not want to to join us, but that's okay. I the wrong one. Like two alliances, two strong alliances are uh, 
good at this point in the development of the nation is still very very young so yeah you guys are still young but you're i'm still like wow you're so way way more developed than 949 <laughs> i'm sorry for that um but like she said her, her all her whales left so yeah that's that's most likely the cause of it all right veneer wants me to check 734 734 734 i just had it but i clicked something <laughs> I wish there was like a better way to find worlds, like if they had a little list, you know? This, uh... 912 has a C37 and we are a young nation. Oh, okay, you're developing. I know I clicked the wrong word. I know, I know. Uh. Okay, okay, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. I'm blind, I'm sorry. I'm illegally blind. Seven, three, eight. Seven, three, seven, three, six, three, five. There you go. Not the daddy. Not I'm. I'm just. I'm just gonna throw this out there while you're looking. Just because some of these new worlds have a whale, right? Like you have a whole world of C-34s, and you have a whole, and you have a couple C-37s or C-38s, whatever it might happen. Don't think that that is the end of your world and you can't fight that. Just remember the game is built for smaller cities. Oh, my ear. Yep. Uh, okay, okay. So you got... Advantage always goes to the defender. <laughs> so you got two whales, a medium, and a small whale. Okay, so you got four. Not too bad. Power Alliance. Oh, you guys are fat. Okay. These two are equal. But not too far from this one. But you're okay, so you're the main alliance. Okay. Uh you could mm, okay. So what's wrong with your world, Veneer? <laughs> DVF, DVF is us. Oh, you're in the second alliance. Okay. I mean, wait, how many C3s you got? Total ranking. Okay, you got a 41, a 40, a 30. Okay, you're developing. Top three is main, four, five is an academy. PSH is a tyrant. Ah. So you're having a, you guys are having civil war or you just a tired because he's purging your friends. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad. You got your 41 and your 40 and I think people need to understand that in certain circles uh being called a tyrant is a badge of honor for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. Just throwing that out there. I wish I, I was that. a tyrant. Yeah, but I'm, a, I'm just a shrimp. Screenshots. I'm just a shrimp. <laughs> I can't. I can't be a whale. I'm just a you're, shrimp. You're you're a tyrant at heart, though, Nikki. You're hate for farmers. <sighs> you're tyrant ish. Mm -hmm. At heart, at heart. I I wear my my badge of honor. <laughs> um. Okay, so they they don't they don't have a civil war, but going to be R M Z good. There is a guy named Vila. It's Joker. Well, maybe. Wait, didn't you guys have a merger recently? Because the seven hundreds got merger, right? Yeah, I feel like you guys had a merger recently. <clears throat> All right, not too bad. But you had already two years, probably already developing six. Oh, okay, six twenty three and seven thirty four. Okay, so you had a merger recently. Cool. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Who do we have here? Oh, Knox. Did 290 ever had a Civil War, Knox? You said not to look at it. Let's look at 290. <laughs> I don't know. I keep forgetting I had to click this map. Knox, I know you're there. Don't be camera shy. <laughs> 
290. Uh, yeah, sure, it has to be this one. 286, 285. All right. I think 290 is VVV, right? Yep, it's VVV. Very strong light chain. Lots of C41s. Lots of C40. Damn. So many C40s. Look at you guys. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, 912. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check 912. Let's, look, let's go to 912. And then, now I'm like, <laughs> I'm checking 912. Uh, 912. Let's go to 9. The game keeps making new newer worlds and they still haven't given Glow 1 and 2 a merger. So sad. <laughs> it's so true. 912. Tonight. Bro, I'm so blind. Oh, I feel like I passed it. 70, 71, 68. Oh, wait, <laughs> one over, my bad. <laughs> All right, 16, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12. There you are, Sunchi. All right, let's look at you guys. Uh, questionable about the guy's picture. Oh, so cute, that's cute. Okay, let's see. Enemies kills, okay, not too bad. Power. Kind of close to 949. Not too now. I'm comparing I'm gonna start comparing anything to 949. <laughs> 36, okay. 35 and 34. Okay. I'm gonna guess you're a year old now. Warplane is developing. Okay. I am I black math is. I need better glasses. Uh, Alliance power. Let's see. Okay. Developing well. These are kind of empty. Okay. So technically speaking, you have a one in one in a second alliance, and three and four prior your academies. If that's how you have your nation, doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Pretty active. Like, you can really tell if people are active just by looking at the merit. Because, like, a lot of events give merits, like Polar, K there's <laughs> Chaos Lands. Chaos Lands is only used for merger now. Um, hmm, what other events gives merit? Damn, Elite Wars is one of them, too. Officers, let's see. Okay. So it's between these three. At least these two are together. Okay. And these two are together. All right. At some point, you will want to have these four together at some point. Okay, that's good. There's a truth. You know, at some point in the game, everybody will have to play with each other. Like, all the whales have to come together into one alliance. Because it just... If you're like not winning the the big event, which is void or um well everybody we only own I only care about void, so you, at some point you gotta put everybody together, all the strongest player into one alliance, because it really does bump up activity and it really does show the potential that the nation can can um can show. <laughs> Yes, the Asian players do like to stay together because, again, culture, language, people would rather be with what they know and what they, what they, you know, if, if this person has the same culture as me, the same language as me, I'd rather be with that person. And people are, you know, some people are shy. They don't want to meet new people with different language and different culture. And that's okay. <laughs> um... Let's see. Yufa. What will the next update be? I'm assuming officers, Titan, and warplanes are pretty much done. 
You mean my next stream? Is that what you mean? Mm, I haven't done Titans. I guess I should do Titans. Should I do Titans? Usually in my Discord, if you guys are not in my Discord, I'm gonna post a link. In my Discord, I put a po um, a poll and people vote what the next stream should be. So I'll do that for the next one again because apparently everybody wanted to talk about Civil War and that's why that's what we're doing. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> All right. Black Zero. Did 912 merge Alliance or merge Nation? That's a Miss Sandman question because I'm not, I'm not, I don't know this nation very well. So it kind of does look like they merge Alliance unless, because let's see, where's the Alliance ranking? Because you get these three. But this one's the fattest one. And then everybody else is kind of like empty-ish. So I feel like players are moving around and merging. So it kind of looks like they did merge alliance. <sighs> All right. Yeah, so Vanir, you're right. Mixed nationality is a good thing to have because you have players online 24-7. Because everybody, you know, we have everybody across the world. Is this in and the older nations? All the alliances are mixed. The top one alliances they have people from all over the world. So for you guys in the newer nation, at some point you will have to merge and mix the 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 people around and have people from different side of the globe. You will you will, at some point you're gonna have to reach that. You can't have an alliance purely of people from the east side and pure people from the west side. It's not going to work out. But it could. But then again, if you want to be scoring points during Frenzy and Void at all times, mm -hmm. that's when you mix the alliances up and mix the people. Right? I have players in every time zone on the planet. Yeah. Mr. Sandman, we are a merge alliance, but we haven't had a merger in another world. Okay, it's looking pretty good. You're not, not everybody is like split up and you only have three alliances, which is not bad. You're starting good and you have your truce, which is good. Just don't have somebody breaking the truce. <laughs> but I do suggest try to get your whales together. Your top one alliance can be be strong having those players together and playing well with each other and become friends they can become good friends <laughs> but again as some said people with the biggest wallet have the biggest wheel egos so you gotta work with that let's see what are you guys saying civil war is bad it's good civil war leads to your wallet going comatose yeah a civil war can be very expensive. I mean, I can't. I had to like prioritize my events. Like, what? Where can I put my money in? Because I need to save up for gold and shield. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, I... my word, my words get mixed together. Like, I do not have a piercing. It's, um, what's the word? Tongue twist? Like, you get a tongue twist? Yeah, that's, that's something happens to me. I don't know why. I get my words mixed up. Yeah, sorry. Does anybody have a qu last questions? I think we're going to end the streams now or soonish. I just hope everybody got, um, very, uh, I hope the stream was very helpful and informative. I do try. <laughs> Anybody wanted to add anything to it? Oh, you guys are shy now. Okay. Everybody's shy. We are. My best. Cough on your screen. One at a time, boys. One at a time. <laughs> Why are you saying? Are you? Go, go kidding. 
I was just saying, I, did, I was trying not to cough on your uh, stream. Oh, you're oh, you're sick. Got to clear my lungs from yesterday. <laughs> no, no, I got to clear my lungs from yesterday. What it happened yesterday? The season. Oh, well, for well, I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I see you, kidding. I see you. Blazing it up, uh, blazing it up. Oh. All I'm saying is don't get involved in a civil war. It's expensive. It's uh, not productive. And uh, there are better ways to spend your time. I mean, Sholo, you would have not been in civil war if you did not, you know, take fan in. <laughs> that's that's not true. It, it, that's one player in, in 100. It, it doesn't have anything to do with me. Okay. Sorry, yellow. Mute. You know, yeah, you're right. It could be different reasons. I don't know the reasons. Yeah, no. no, that was going on a long time before. Um, before, before Fang that joined? Oh, yeah, gotcha. we, we, we got Fang in the merge last year, but that was going on before that merge ever happened. Gotcha. Fang was just an acquisition that went to them because you know they they fight with us. So. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I got the full story now. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... That's a, that's like one eighth story. That's not the full story. Well, okay. No. I, <laughs> I got the short summary. The short little summary of it. That's enough of the story, though. So, uh, Evergen, did you guys, we, did we, did you win against 274 or it was just it, the last time I we, played? Did, did Moreno keep top 10? Tell me that he kept top 10. Oh gosh, I haven't even looked. Uh, I haven't even looked either. Yeah, he did. He did. Don't worry. Just oh. go to the spreadsheets. No, okay. Yeah, he, he did. He good did. boy. Good boy. I told him Wait. and I showed him a knife. Like, you better, you better keep that top 10. I worked very hard on that. <laughs> I think Cholo just threw shade on that spreadsheet. And um, yeah, he got ninth overall, it looks like. Um Yeah, he did. Yeah, we beat them by like ten billion points. It was it was pretty it's pretty rough. <laughs> I heard I heard you hit um Alcolmon. Alcolmon? I think he's in BMF. Or no. Barry the um, One Alliance. What's like the big city in the One Alliance? Well, did, was there any big hits? No. Yeah, there is one that lost. Oh, like, so Arc many. Moon. Wait, his city am I in? I can see what city I'm in. Hold on. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah, is that the one that lost like several million, million troops? I think. Ooh. Can I see a report? Yeah, let me find it. Yay. Yes, Arc Moon. Okay. Yeah, let me paste it in the screen. On the way. Was that one alliance? Or was it BMF? I feel like he was in the one alliance. Uh, I I see the battle reports too. I'm just asking. Because like, yeah, I, I remember was... last night I was like going back and forth between six BMF and one. It's like just staring and looking back and forth. Oh, it's tiring. <laughs> the shield, oh, the shield, and then the T fours, <laughs> the T fours, <laughs> the worst. I was starting to get a headache. It was giving me a headache. I couldn't stand it anymore. Just staring yeah, was, at it. I was getting a headache, and then it's like I was starting to see things and like imagine that cities were unbubbled, and then I look back. <laughs> That's why in Alliance chat you were seeing me be like, oh, never mind, because I thought it didn't have a bubble, but it actually had a bubble. It's like, that was so weird. I was like, oh, there's a city with no bubble. It actually had a bubble. It's like, oh my god, my eyes. He's getting here since I'm in silence right now. Nice, nice. That's a nice hit. Oh, I can't believe I missed it. I was there. <laughs> Me too. I never sleep during any void, and I went to sleep during this one because it was so boring. <laughs> oh, girl, tell me. <laughs> and then I missed that. Yeah. Luckily, I did. 
<laughs> I was I don't know what happened to me. I I'm not very good at driving whale cities because I don't I never had the experience of it. And then I sent we when you hit that one guy, the C thirty six with fifty four mil BP, we eight of us went in and I'm like, I'm gonna send a second fleet because I want all these points. And I sent the second fleet and I was by myself because he shield. I don't know, for some reason it lagged and I looked like I was losing. This fleet only had T-13 tanks, T-13 cannon, T-13 zombies, no titans, no plane. So it was just little, little, not little me, but big me against this T-36, one, that one million or almost two million troops. And the lag was making it look like I was losing. I'm like, okay, I'm popping SOS. I need to retreat. And I retreated when I was actually winning. And I was so pissed. Like I was like, man, I could have killed more. <laughs> it's so hard. The lag is terrible. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get Oh, it's really weird because like I have access to drive all the well cities, like silent and barehead and everything, and I'm more delicate with theirs than I am mine. <laughs> and I shouldn't be, you know, like I, I don't know. Um like, I feel like I'm going to break theirs and I'm nervous about it. And, you know, theirs are not breakable. <laughs> but mine, you know, I'll just send it in anything, you know, hell with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's somebody else's. I don't want to hurt it, but. Uh, I need to get used to it. <laughs> For real. Ever, ever, Jen, ever Jen just kicked down Bear City. I got that. No worries. <laughs> are you bullying Barry? Leave my boy Barry alone. He did nothing wrong. <laughs> Poor Barry. I have 208 and 229 in my uranium mine. And who else? What was the other mine? Oh, 255. I have 255 as well. And 255 loves 269 because they all they keep kicking me out for some reason. Like, come on, guys. Leave me yeah. alone. <laughs> <laughs> Get all a two five five, all a two five five. No. Yes. No. Don't. Don't give in. Get two five five in the mines, and that's good. I will if they keep hitting me. <laughs> oh my god! I used to have two seventy eight, and I love I love SFES because monster and um, uh and the girl and the guys, but like. They can't, for some reason I've been the one that they kept hitting. Like, wait, let me show you. Wait, I I have everything here. Hold on. For some reason, I was like the one person they. Whoa, I was the one every, person. Every they day, wanted to every hit. all about two five five. Hit him in the mines. Keep hitting him in the mines. Just keep doing it. Oh. Like, look at this. Two seven eight. Two seven oh two eighty five. Okay, but. 285. Oh wow, now I'm 285 person. Why are you guys hitting me? But where is it? What am I going to show? Like, I'm not that strong, but I'm not that weak either, but it was that one time that I had like a whole long list of people trying to plunder me <laughs> and they couldn't plunder me. <laughs> oh my god, where is it? It's like all the way. See, like... Oh my god, TSK, what's going on? Why are you hitting me? <laughs> <laughs> see look 278 278 again 278 but that guy did beat me oh big list who is this 278 him again for the third time 246 278 <laughs> Like they, they, and then after they can't beat me, uh, I feel like they send their strongest guy to go get me. It's like, <laughs> come on, man! I gotta, I gotta ask. Yes, yeah, yes. I gotta ask her. Like, br like, bro, what's going on? Why, why you guys want to try to hit me? Why do they want to take my uranium? Let me be. Let me be fat. <laughs> I'm just a little shrimp. Let me be fat. Right now, I'm poor in uranium. Look at that. I have no uranium with me. Look at that. I'm so poor. Still can't believe T285 went into the kitten trap earlier. I seriously warned them twice throughout the week. 
don't touch any kittens. <laughs> and, and, and then and I saw it popping up. Yeah. Cute yeah, and then I saw it popping up on Viber. I saw it, like a picture of the city, and I was like, "Oh hell!" And so, like, I went and logged into two eight five, and like, I just put it in the chat, and I was like, "Leave it alone." <laughs> just saying. <laughs> and then you, you can see they're like, and they're like, "Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ouch. That and, like Silent, Silent wasn't in two eight five, and I messaged him like, "Guess what? Your people just did." <laughs> mm mm mm. Yeah. So I tried. Really hard. Nobody listens to me in any nation. Man, nobody States. listens to me either. I tell them, don't do this. <laughs> don't do not do it. And they go ahead and do it. Okay. Okay. I warned you. I told you so. <laughs> nobody nobody ever listens to the woman. <laughs> Men never listen. <laughs> it's the struggle. The struggle is real, ladies. The struggle is real. My, my, my 5% of audience is female. <laughs> It was just how fast they were like, okay, well, let's go. I'm like, okay, well, bye. Good luck. I just sit there and watch them die. I listen, I listen to you. Thank you. It comes to one, it goes in one ear, it goes to the other. Colo listens to you. Facts. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. I think, I think we're done. I think I, I, I hit. I hope I hit the nail with the Civil War stuff. I know there's a lot more. I know there's a lot more, but uh, it's either way. It's all gonna be the same. And a, a little, I'm a little mad that I couldn't mm, how how the stream went in the beginning. But hey, it happens. It's whatever. Oh, Texas back. I'm 219 if you want a civil war. I have a you microphone. Got... Can you not hear me well with this thing? Mr. Sandman says I need a microphone. I think what we need, um, I don't know, it's something to get the, the man's attention. Like, yeah, we we you need to pay attention to me and listen to me. <laughs> but no. It's like, man. I swear every time. And it happens in in 219 so much that i'm like you know hey, I, I saw this on discord this is what's going on or hey we should do this thing and just and, and you know it's just like nothing and then afterwards i'm like maybe we should listen to Jen. you like, know yes <laughs> you know the worst the worst thing is when you tell your member hey this is a t4 city don't hit it and they're like what there's a city oh my god it has troops i better speed up and i'm like Boy, I just said, don't hit it in T4, and they ride ahead and go for it. It's like, oh my god. And, the, and then he's like, look at me, look at all the kills I got. Yeah, yeah, you got T4s, T4s, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good points, good points, man, yeah. Flaws for ya. <laughs> it's the struggle, nobody listens. I don't understand, like, what's the point of hitting the T4s? Like yeah, yeah, you're 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 raising your kill your kill, you know, what's it called? The kill thing in your profile. But like it's not it's not helping you in void. You're not getting points from that. You know that, right? Yeah, there's titans, but it's not a lot of points. You're just giving these people to open their boxes and then they're gonna stay shield. That's what you did. You just helped them open their box. Good job. <laughs> I think some of them might be like we have Murano who just really hates the T4 so much that he's just gonna go kill oh. him just because. Polo, like. Polo is the same. Polo does. Polo. <laughs> <laughs> they the, Polo hates T4 so much. He's like the fanboy of T4s. Um, so he he'll, he'll see a T4 city. He'll go ahead and hit it, which is fine because obviously he will send T1s. <laughs> He'll send T ones and then they don't get points. He don't get points. Nobody gets points. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. I don't even know if I don't even know if Murano uses T one or not, but yeah, he's made it like his life mission to just eradicate every T four that he can find, unless it's like a close one that we can't, you know. But <laughs> stuff like today, you know, he just murders them all if he can find them. <laughs> yeah, double slaughter it. <laughs> and then and then they're like, ha ha, he kills our T4. We can just recruit them fast and not fast. Yeah, okay, whatever. You're yeah. people with people who use T4 are like they grind my gears, it's the same. 
my my gears get grinded when I see T fours. <laughs> yeah, they, and they, they probably are so proud. Like, aha, look at this idiot, you know, that just hit our T fours. And like, okay, fine, you know, yeah, he did. But now you got to recruit them all back, and that's going to take time away from recruiting your real troops. You know, like it, it's still going to be a little obnoxious for you. So go on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You know, if I remember when 385 went against 299, the way Barry played it out, it's <sighs> in the nation show of 299, they were saying, guys, don't worry about it. They don't know about our silent intelligence. We're going to beat them with our silent intelligence. You know what that silent intelligence is? T Force. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to beat them with T Force. <laughs> and Barry's like, uh uh uh, we're not playing that game. So he was very f smart enough to cut to cut uh, to know who's the guy in the alliance that had the T4. You know, that the, the 299 has this T30 that's been getting yes. number one tyrant. So, Barry, All the time. Mm -hmm. so Barry plan was to tell everybody in the nation of 385 to avoid that alliance completely. Like, don't hit the flags, don't hit the city, ignore the guy. And that guy will go to 385 with a C12 posting like, hey, look at this city, it's empty, go get it. But no. No. And he didn't get tired at that time. He didn't get tired, he didn't get points. Nope. It's like, I don't get people who do T4s. Like, you just ruined the point of the game. Like, I get it. It's his strategy. Blah, blah, blah. But it's it's not fun. Void is once a month. What's the fun in that? I want my fun in Void. Know. Like, I would be so mad if I played in that nation and, like, I built, you know, some C38, C40 that's super strong and spent all this money and I had to lose Void Tyrant to, you know, a C30 all the time. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> the embarrassment of it, you know? <laughs> like, damn, we got beat by a C30. Well, we are C forties, <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny uh, because the same C forty guy keeps giving him the points because you keep hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> I have T four shred. It's fine in a farm. Don't get me wrong. T fours in a farm is fine. I'm talking about T fours as a main alliance, a main city, like, like um. Well, we lost our girl. <laughs> we lost me. I'm, I got lost. Whoops. Um, like we, 274. We, two, we, so listen, 274. a lot. No, 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 no. Evergen has the experience. 274. The three C41s. What were they using? Oh, yeah. Like one of them had just T2s or T1s. Yes, T2s. Yeah, they were all... yeah. Yeah. But, like, I mean, they have, you know, those are whale cities. So, like, they have massively strong titans, you know, in planes. So, um, you know, one of them, I would need to find the battle report. But, like, one of those C-41s reinforced, you know, like, another T-4 city um, with, you know, their stupid T-2. And, but then it had their planes and the titans. So, it made somebody lose, like, 150,000 troops, even though, you know, because versus their, T their T-2s because they had their planes and titans in there. Mm -hmm. um. So, like, you know, I mean, it is what it is, but it's still stupid because, like, <laughs> you know, you're this big bad city with 400 million BP and you're playing with T2. Come on now. That's the disrespect. Not using T4. <laughs> he just used T2. <laughs> it's funny to me. It's funny. It's so obnoxious. Mm. Um, and then yeah, he, he just stayed open. Yeah, I have, I recorded the whole thing when the guy, when he's, um, stayed open and we're like oh my god his bubble trap we gotta hit this guy but then his own i don't know who was the farm alliance or the, the third alliance sent a scout on him and he <laughs> fogs and we're like oh no it's a trap he's active <laughs> and see i wasn't sure because like silent was talking about him a couple of days ago and said that um dan drops bubbles sometimes like he that's not uncommon he's gotten zero several times Oh. So I wasn't sure because I was like, um, you know, it could be a trap. Like he's at that BP that he could, you know, he can hide it, <laughs> you know, but he's also known for dropping bubbles. So it could, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, but you did end yeah. up heading him, right? Uh, I think some people did a little bit later and it went pretty badly. Well, I, Silent has a report where it went fine. They hit him. I saw a little bit ago, but 
Um, but yeah, some some of the weaker cities I think went and tried to hit it when none of us are online, and it went pretty bad. Um, I did I did see that one. It was it was unpleasant, but yeah, it is so what it not, is. Not long after we were like, no, don't don't hit the, don't hit the thing. They they went and hit the thing. So. <laughs> Back to our previous topic of nobody listens to us. <laughs> All right, have we mentioned about 151? No. Yeah, yeah, you know, we could have mentioned about 151 during the Civil War topic. That That is a oh good nation to talk about. But I don't have nobody from 150, 151 here to talk about it. I can't talk about something. I don't know how it happened or why they went to Civil War, you know? I don't want to say something wrong. But hey, maybe next time. Next time we can get into that. Like somebody from 151, 151 can join the next stream you can hop in the voice chat here at the main discord of age of origins and you can tell us your story we can go through it you know um but yeah all right so <laughs> my phone died so that's why little me it's like oh well, down here because i can't i can't i can't move my character anymore sorry so i'm down here now um <laughs> just a deuce hello um I'm going to end the stream now. Um, it's, it's been a pretty long stream. Damn, I've been, I've been going at it way too long. <laughs> How long has it been? Almost three hours. Oof. But hey, I hope everybody had a good time. I hope the stream was helpful. Um, if you guys still have questions, you can join my Discord and add, um, go to the Age of Origin guide. There's a place where you can put questions and, and people can come in and answer those questions for you. Or I'll come in and answer the question. Uh, let me post my link. Everjet, I learned that I cannot post my Discord link in the in the chat. <laughs> Is it not letting you? No, I think that's one thing. I don't know why. Let me try again. Hold on. Let me try. Let me try. I'm going to post it right here. Oop. Uh, wait, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, my God. Delete post oh okay it's working now weird it's not that it didn't work all right so if you're in the age of origin stream chat you can see my discord link right there you can join i'm also going to post it in the youtube real quick where's my youtube chat youtube chat right there so you guys can join the discord is simple for those people who are not good at discord all you gotta do is just press what role you want you just press it and bam you can see the channels that's all you gotta do not it's not that difficult um let's see <laughs> all right well thank you Evergen. thank you hokage nox kitten cholo rai who left polo lexi <laughs> thank you el professor never forget el professor <laughs> hey i know I, we wanted all to mute him but hey he gave his point of view of what civil war is, but then again, it's not. It wasn't really well right. <laughs> oh man! All right, thank you guys for joining, and thank you everybody from YouTube for joining. I really appreciate you guys. Until next time, um, I don't know till next time, but uh, there will be another schedule in the Discord, and you'll see it. But in my Discord, you can follow and um, know when the next stream. And also, you can subscribe, like the video, <laughs> like a YouTuber. Please subscribe and like. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, everybody.